Testing one, two, testing, testing one, two.
We are live here on the field, I think for the first time really, at Eagleton College of Career Academy. I've got the two main men, one to my left, one to my right, Mark Dallin, our principal, Jack Evans, our athletic director and assistant principal. We'll start with you, Mr. Dallin. Beautiful night for football, week eight. How's it going so far? I, first off, it's hard to believe it's week eight. Uh, this season just seems to be rolling by. Uh, things are great. Uh, what an exciting year to get our first year of varsity football underway. What an exciting time for you guys with your broadcasting program. This is incredible. Got all the camera work going, live production, uh, and finally starting to feel a little bit like football outside. Jack, uh, AD, starting to slow down a little bit right now, but we're getting ready to kick it back up with basketball. How, how, how did the fall sports go so far? Football's still going. How about the rest of them? They've gone great. We're starting all our varsity sports for the first time here at Eagleton, and they seem to be flowing real well. Football's going great. Volleyball went great. Soccer, first year in girls' soccer. So we had a great season in that. So we're just rolling right into winter soon with basketball. So you can enjoy some basketball and wrestling as well. And uh, we are going to be live on YouTube. We're also on NFHS Network tonight as we now have uh, – in here, so we're, we're broadcasting on dual platform. I got my man John Klaus right here on the camera, getting better and better. And we got some young ladies on the on the podiums and guys upstairs, so we're killing it. We're killing it. It's exciting stuff. And uh, we're only going to get better. This guy right here has got it going on, so we'll see you guys uh, later on. Go Royal Family. All right, I think we're live for the first, second time, all time. Here comes our PA guy. On behalf of Principal but he's getting ready. Hold on, we'll have to come back. Is it, is it, can you hear us? Yeah, is it he working now? Uh, we good? Give me a thumbs up, Randy. But let's go ahead. Uh, we got our PA guy. Coach, we got South Green, big region game. What do you think? A special welcome to the administrators, teachers. Can you speak in my good ear? 
<laughs> I'm excited, man. I'm excited. Kids are ready. Um, ready to rock and roll, man. He's making fun of a deaf guy down here, just so everybody knows that. Uh, I've, I've had a migraine. All right. And then my sinuses clogged up, and I can't hear out of my left ear. All right. So. Give me, uh, give me two keys tonight for you to be successful. Protect the football and tackle the football. I like those. Simple. I like those. And as we say here, go Royals and good luck, and uh, we'll get you at halftime. Good evening. Welcome to Robert M. Maxey Field here in the crown of Blount County. My name is Ian Britton and I'm excited to enjoy some Royals football with you tonight. As usual, I'm joined by my good friend, Randall Davis. Coach Davis, uh, you excited to be here tonight? Oh yeah, excited for another uh, region game, district game. I honestly, I can't ever keep up with which one it is, <laughs> but it's one of the two. Uh, you know, it's a game that's got some implications. Um, you know, obviously had the week off last week, fall break. Um, always, you know, and, and and it's that time of year. Weather's getting to where this this feels like football season. Just so, a bit, yep. um, excited for for the guys to get back out there, the coaches and their preparation, and and. Uh, you know, got got a good football team on the other, on the other side of the field. So, uh, anxious to see how it goes for them and and uh, see how these how how it shakes out. Absolutely, absolutely. Got a good word there from Coach Childs. Uh, uh, some some great on the field reporting from uh, our uh, be beleaguered leader. Uh, he's a little under the weather tonight, but but still doing a fantastic job. Some great shots there by by John Klaus. Uh, what do you think about his keys to the game, Coach? I mean, it's pretty simple, but but really, we're at that point, aren't we? Well, and and I mean, his two keys to the game protect the football and tackle the football right so you know protecting the football has been a thing an issue all year sure. you know and it seemed like we we have things going offensively and and we do something to set ourselves back and give them the ball back and we can't afford to give teams extra drives and we are not at that point yet to be able to do and that. so and then tackle on the football I mean you go back to the Hampton game against a really good Hampton team and and struggled to tackle the football so certainly something that needs to change but i think we're going to go out for the the uh national anthem here and then we'll be back on the other side and we'll, we'll point out these amazing nice new band uniforms looking yeah, spiffy in, absolutely. in the, the setup i think we're going to join them down on the field for the, the, the national anthem Ladies and gentlemen, Star please Spangle rise. Banner, get that ready, please. At this time, we would like to provide the opportunity for you to join us in a moment of silence. Thank you. Please remain standing as this evening we honor America with the playing of our national anthem. Performing our national anthem this evening is the ECCA Marching Band under the direction of John Gallagher.
right, welcome back. Uh, another fantastic rendition by, by the ECCA band and, and John Gallagher, I think he's got him getting better every week, right, Coach? Oh, yeah, no, no doubt. Um, excited to see him in their new uniforms. Yeah. And it does seem like they get better every week. And, and I was excited to be able to have a mic on the field for yeah. the first time so there. We really get to hear it, yeah. Operational. But, Ian, I'm going to talk a little bit about here before we get to kick off, just some of the keys to the game. Um, obviously, coming into um, this game, our records here are uh, ECCA 2-5. and five. Um, You know, had some, had some big wins, had some tough losses, but South Green's coming in at six and one, and and so um, you know definitely um, going to be a tough challenge. I think we're going to go down to an interview with Coach West. All right, I'm down here with Lila Campbell, uh, coming off a 29th place, which is not. There's a lot of golfers out there in state for Sessi. What was your best hole? Um. I didn't really. I had. I like the par threes. I did go in the par threes. Uh, any long drives? How, were you in the fairway often? Uh, on some of the holes, I was. Not. I mean, yeah. So now you're a freshman, yeah. right? So sophomore. sophomore. So you're going to go. You got two more years to get better, and in those two years, we're going to go from 29 to like top 10. Yeah, uh, that's my goal. Okay. Well, good luck, and uh, can you say go Royals? Go Royals. All right. Back to you, John. All right, another great on-the-field interview with a, a really special athlete um, doing some amazing things there as a sophomore. Uh, looking forward to uh, what, what she's got in store in the future. Coach, you were talking about those keys to the game. Yeah, so again, just South Green 6-1 and one coming into this. Um, just suffered their first loss last week against Happy Valley, a team that you know we struggled with. And there's some things about that game that I know Coach Childs and the boys would love to have back, uh, just some game plan and stuff. But, um, you know, so they, they suffered their first loss there against Happy Valley last week, 26-20. Um, to 20. Uh, The previous two games before that, um, struggled a little bit with the Seymour team, a winless Seymour team. Beat them 35-25. to 25. And uh, South Green, or I'm sorry, South Green beat West Green 29 to 14. So, you know, West Green, the team that we we were up on by 10 points until that late touchdown, and so um, come a long way since then. Yeah, and, so. and and there's no doubt that coming into this game, anyone that looks at this objectively, South Green is a favorite team. Sure. There's there's no doubt. Sure. But I think that based on how the team's been playing, um, there's there's a chance for, for the boys. And so uh, the big thing is the playoff implications. Sure. South Green's got to win this game to be, continue their hopes of being the one or two. Um, you know, right now Hampton's in the driver's seat with one, but because of the loss to Happy Valley, Happy Valley's sitting there looking pretty for, for uh, that two spot. And uh, Eagleton has to win to have a chance at the three spot. Good. Right now, they're, they're, uh, a win against Cumberland Gap gives them the four, barring a crazy win by another team. But uh, a win here would, would should guarantee them a playoff berth and, and also uh, give them a chance at three, which means you don't have to travel to, to York Institute out there in Jamestown. So. Well, and you can't understate the, the – importance of that in, in year one if you're able to, to, to make that happen uh, well and, and game plan wise coach with Happy Valley and, and as much as they run the football do we think we're going to have some opportunities tonight uh, like where are we going to find the most success trying to get that ball uh, down the field yeah I mean uh, the this is a different team than what we've seen in the last, you know, in, in Hampton and in, in Happy Valley. This is a team that still likes to run the football, but they, they're they not going to be uh, double tight, power sure. eye, running sure. the football straight down your throat. They do go into that spread, the 10 personnel, 20 personnel, some, some 21, some 11. So they like to put the tight end out there, that H back some. And, and um, so it's going to be a different look, but they still like to get after it in their own game. And so, you know, Coach Childs' key to the game was to tackle the football. We're certainly going to have to tackle the football to uh, have a chance and so um, definitely see that as a key and offensively we've just got to worry about us you know uh, talking to coach Branton this week you know he said he's much bigger into self scout than sure. scouting another team because if we don't do things that the right well. way then and, and stay out of our own way then it doesn't matter how much you scout another team so that's going to be the key there stay out of our own way do what we do and do it well and um, sustain drives you know and, and be able to score some points put some points on the board string together positive plays right or on the defensive side of things uh, string together stops so 
looking forward to see what we got tonight. Uh, we got captains reporting to the, the midfield right now, Coach? Yeah, it looks like our two captains for the game are going to be uh, number seven, Nathan Clemmer, and number 22, Liam Derman. Um, you know, two kids, one one being a senior, one of the few seniors we have on the team. And uh, Nate, a junior, played a lot of football for us. Um, two very deserving captains and two guys that are going to be a big part of if we can win this football game. Absolutely. It starts at the quarterback position, but what Liam does for us defensively, um, he's going to make a big difference if, you know, he comes to play tonight, and, and I think he will. So, well, we got yeah. this Royals coaching staff out here in there, Chris White. Clean looking. Uh, That's not going to last, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I've already. I, they, I was lucky enough to get one of those, and I've already got a, a little spot on the. On, Do a little the, spot for Chapelines, Randall Davis. I, I, you got Chapelines on the front of your. Uh, he's wearing it. I, I did take right it off. Eagles. I did take it off at Chapelines. <laughs> uh, guys, I'm getting ready to go down here and check out the brand new. A multi-thousand dollar drone, which next Friday night we're going to have aerial footage on the broadcast. Oh, that's that's pretty awesome. So that's that's exciting to be able to to check that out and have that on the broadcast. So that'll be cool uh, next week against Cosby. So uh, Mark Anderson doing a great job flying that thing for us. He's a it's it's a challenging challenging thing to do. It is, but it's another amazing thing that we've had the opportunity to do here at Eagleton. Uh, there ain't a lot of places and a lot of schools, especially this size, that can talk about things like that. It looks like captains are going out, and and uh, you know I'm gonna I'm gonna differ on what I usually what I usually say here. I, I think are you gonna look to get a stop? I, I think you're gonna try to try to take to defer the ball if you win and get a stop. I think the momentum that that can give us from get that taste out of our mouth of Hampton putting some points up on us, and um, I think that can set the way because the you know on the flip side if you take the ball and you go three and out, that can give you the opposite momentum. So um, you know definitely. I, I think here I'm, I'm deferring and I'm, I'm going to uh, try to go play defense. Well, let's see what happens on the luck of the, the coin toss. Brandon Aguilar. Nice little thing they're doing here tonight. Our uh, middle school football team is going to be running out with our with our uh, high school team tonight. Another uh, sp yeah. incredibly special thing when when the sixth grade and twelfth grade in the same same big, campus. Big season for for them. Six and two this year. Really really good year for them. And uh, future is bright with those kids. So it's cool that Coach Childs came up with that and getting getting some sh shout outs right now. And so uh, they're they're going to be running out through the through the banner tonight. Guys, it's nice and crisp down here, and it feels like football. Uh, and I don't feel like I'm going to die except for my head and my ear. <laughs> uh, just just uh, hang in there, Coach. Looks like Eagleton's getting the football. So it uh, looks like they lost the toss. They The South Green deferred. And no choice in the match. So, uh, hey, let's go go score, you know. I mean, that's, that's what you got to do is try to set the momentum the right way here. And, I, I'm, uh, I'm going to be uh, posted up over here with Adina McMahon on the uh, on the rack red zone cam. So uh, I'll come to you guys here and there. All right. Hey, we're uh, also lucky to have five star preps with us tonight. Really cool, right there. That's it. That's, that's special. Cool deal getting to. Getting to see our kids run out with them there and get a chance to get a chance to see what it's like to feel that Friday night feeling and something they'll get to do a lot over the next four, five, six years. Coming up on about 25 seconds until kickoff here. Say, we're, it's almost upon us. The band's about finished up. Looking for exciting first half football. Feels like we say it a lot, but Co Coach Bruton got them got them uh, rolling down there, special teams wise. So, well, and, and uh, really, the, the best phase of the game the, the last few weeks has been the special teams side of things.
All right, looks like we got Colton Relation back deep to receive. South Green coming to get the ball set. About ready for some football time here in the village. Pretty good kick over Relation's head and bounces into the end zone for a touchback. All right, Royals will take over here on this first possession. We go in runner pass first, first play, Coach. Uh, if I was a guessing man, I'd say we're going to go a little RPO action right here. So, gonna say, so who knows? This could be run yeah. or pass. Depends on what they give you. All right. Starting out in a little trips look, trips to the, to the top of the field. Now, we hadn't seen uh, two safeties back there in a couple of weeks, right? Yeah. So, so and got got a three man front, Maybe slanting we're front. To, we're looking to pass. A little, a little screen. screen set up perfectly. Got some room to run. Just got to run in yeah. that situation. Going to be tough to, going to be tough to beat a beat a guy by stuttering wow. at that point. Try to go and, get. And coach, how hard is it to just take the the, the four that you've got instead of going and trying to get yeah. fifteen more? But right? at the same time, you got you know four four yards there. That's a positive first play, and that's yeah. what you're looking for. Now, the thing I'm seeing here, coach, is. It's a, it's a light box. Uh, yeah. Well, three that's what I'm saying. They're, they're, they seem like they're deep on us. They're taking taking the, that outside linebacker out. This is a run box if I've ever seen one. You just got to block them. Okay. Eight it's a run. keeper to the inside or outside and, and able to cut it back in for a nice, solid. And, and the thing about that one with that little quarterback quarterback pull there is uh, the, the other side was also very good. So, and a little mower works first down. Say, got, got to make sure we, we hit the sponsors. Uh, uh, hopefully, we're going to be saying that a whole lot this evening. All right. Rose are quick back up to the line. The call's in. Uh, and the defense looks mostly unchanged. Oh, no. Now they're bringing some pressure over on that far side. Uh, looks to have some oh space to run. He's able to run forward for about five, right, Coach? Yeah, and, and again, turning what could have been a negative play into a positive play. And even if the receiver's downfield, you can't get the ball to him, if they're going to play that deep, there's some room to run, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they're staying, again, if they're going to continue to, to do this defensively, light in the box, um, play off, and, and you've got and, – and now they're pressing up. It looks okay. like they're going a little bit more press. They could be bringing pressure off this, this side here, it looks say, like. I feel like that – With uh, a little cornerback blitz as well. We can make one man miss. He does. Ooh. Uh, able to get back to the line of scrimmage. Good to make what could have been a loss, a, 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 yep. you know, at least a neutral play. And um, that's the kind of time that you want to be able to throw that when they've got a cornerback blitz coming there. But well, uh, it looked like that's what they were going to give. Do you think they sniffed it out and, and kind of knew it was going there? Or? Yeah, I mean, I think that they they noticed with the, those DBs playing up a little tighter that they were doing something different there. So. Both passes, guys. Nate had a, he was a little late on the screen and a little late on that one, but uh, they're definitely there. Oh, looks. Yeah, I thought there was. Get rid of it there. Or? Yeah, the pass wasn't probably catchable, but I thought they were holding on the bar there a little bit. And, and, and there, what happened to, to kind of flush him out of the pocket is the the one guy that they didn't account for up front was was had to be blocked by a running back, and that was a, a big boy that just couldn't do a whole lot about there. So. All right. I'd like to see Gabe get another nice punt like he did last, uh, last game. Put it inside deep. the ten again. That, that's. Gonna need a little bit of a roll to get that far. Ooh, when it looks like it's going off the side of his foot. Uh, not a terrible bounce, but out of bounds. Not the not the field position you want to give him, but hey, it, it, you got to go play defense right here. See if we can get a stop. Some great sideline footage here from our crew. Yeah, he, he hit some booming punts last week, and he just shanked that one. Yeah, that wasn't uh, was not his best punt, but 
Little, little quick screen there. Are we able to get to him fast and bring him down? They push him outside, but he's able to get the edge forward for a nice gain. Had a chance there to, to tackle him down there for a one or two yard gain, and he, he was able to, to uh, kind of sneak out of it and make a play. Good play by Nate there and Navarre to, to get him down. And, and, but that's what we're talking about, to, to get him down, right? Contact was made, maybe with negative yardage, right? We got to take him down, and, and this is a much different second down play if they're starting second and 11. And there we Although, go. There's that negative play right on time. Get him down. Great, great blitz blitz call there by yep. Coach Childs, uh, bringing Lane Cope. Uh, him and, and Tyson both came free there. Good job by Lane getting there quick. Yep. Right? Yeah, Tyson. Tyson blew that up. He did. Yeah, definitely having, uh, you know, Tyson took up the, the blocks, got through, and, and Lane came free. So, looks like they're going trips down here to, to our sideline. We're sitting a, a, a third and pretty long. Only one safety back. Uh, they hand it off, and the we Royals are able to corral him, yeah. Yep, that's a, that's a really good stop there. Interesting uh, to see what South Green decides to do here. Well, that was a weird... I think uh, they may have missed a face mask on us on that one, guys. When he came through, you guys were kind of shielded on this side of the field. We could see it. Mm. We had a, we we had a hold of it, but uh, we'll take it not being called. Uh, uh, yep, absolutely, we will. We will take that all day. But that's a positive. You know, we we possess the ball, and then three and get them on a on a three and out. So good start for the Royals. Oh, and a bad snap, but he's able to corral it and get one off, but not a great punt either. Stay with the ball. Uh, well, uh, and he's got some room to run up the sideline. Nice little return. Yeah, absolutely. Nice return by, so, by Colton there. Because of that stop, we've got, what, a five-yard net gain? Yeah. We'll take that. I will say the Royals looked a little bit more in rhythm than, than the, the, the guys from South Green tonight. So hopefully we can keep that going. Would love to see some quick action here out to uh, – McDonald Reisner, maybe even take a little uh, extra and try and go over the top to, to Fox, right? Yeah, so, something I would be interested to see at some point is for them to get into that uh, 20 personnel with Geo in there. I know it's something they've got got in there and see if they can get him as an extra blocker or maybe even something they can sneak out of the backfield. Uh, well timed, right on time. That, that's a horse collar. That sure enough was. But are we going to get the flag? No, sir. We'll, we'll take it. For a mower works first down. Again, McDonald Reisner right on time. Right around cue. It's a nice little, nice little RPO there. Just a little slant out of him there from the number two spot. And but on time and and cleanly delivered. That was. We can do that all night. We're going to be successful. Back with those two safeties deep, running against good, them. Good run. Yeah. Uh, you know, Ellsworth gets through there a little quicker uh, and gets that, that guy kind of on that wrap block, then, then it's, it's a bigger play. But, you, you know, two, two yards is better than a negative play. Now you don't feel like you have to go and, and try to get a bunch back, you know, from some kind of negative play. So Willard King in on the far side in that slot position. We'll see if he's in for something special right here. No, they're rolling this side, and they've got him wide open. Can he get past them? Yes, sir. Go. No, if if I if it's me, coach, and, and they want to continue playing those those off cornerbacks sure. all night, I'm throwing hitches. Well, and, and how much is it that is just them moving Colton from the backfield out to the side, and it's it's almost the same thing as a run play because you get him open in space, and he can make somebody miss, and good things happen. Another mower works. First down. Royals quick up to the ball again. What defense was that, Coach? It seems like they didn't know where they were supposed to be. I was trying to count the safeties, and there were three of them. Lamb on the tackle for South Green. Yeah, I mean, a five-yard gain on first down, and again, you come right back to it. They're going to play off on, on those corners, then get it to them and let them make a play. Absolutely. And, you know, if Colton Forcing continues to just get upfield yeah. and, and get what you can get. And, um, All right, Lane's back in. The backfield there. They've tightened up a little bit. A little quarterback run. The hole was there. We just couldn't get there quick enough. Yep. Nate, Nate, Nate needed to bounce out there, guys, and he got hung up on. Uh, Look like maybe Trevor Bright, and just couldn't get out of his way. Yep. But we're getting ready to come up and see if we can salvage huddle focus, which just seemed to went in. Uh, I'm working on it, Coach West. You got it. 
I'll let you know if I need you. We multitask around here. Everybody's wearing the same six different hats. Well, you know, I'm just down here chilling on the podium. You know, doing some commentating from, from a distance. But so far, this has been a great drive. Oh, wait, he's got somebody there. And he's got it. Oh, one hand. Intercepted. Oh. Get uh, him down. Get him down. Ooh, was that a block in the back, Coach? I uh, don't think so, but that's not what you want. Yeah, that was unlucky to use a soccer terminology as the ball bounces up in the air. And well, and he just barely gets an, a knuckle on it and is able to, to deflect it, and it goes the wrong direction. Well, Lane, Lane come around, and he just uh, he didn't he, he couldn't find the ball. I think if he could have found the ball, he could have corralled that thing I in and went in the end zone. Yep. Well, you know, that's, now let's see what we're made out sure. of here because this is tough. Well, we were able to stop them right here last time. Let's see if we can do it again and, and show them how this is going to work tonight. Some soft coverage of our own on this side, but they don't seem willing to exploit it. Coach West is saying it's an internet issue. Not sure. It should still be plugged in over here, so not sure. Um, it should be. I would... Uh, we hate to multitask on air, but I'll just check, make sure that the T-Mobile is powered on, um, and that the um, that it's plugged in, because that's uh, that's what we should have. All right, you and Britton got it here for here a minute. for a second and long. They run it up the middle again. We're able to get him, but he falls forward uh, up near the first down. And Ian, right here is where you know this team's got to. Things go bad, and we got to figure out what we can do to get over it. Absolutely, and. and um, push through when the it gets difficult. Now, it's a third down and short. But I like how they're lining up offensively. I think we match up well with that. I agree. Hopefully we can get some penetration right. Ooh, high snap. Are we able to get him down in the backfield? We, he was. we are, yes. Hey, at five, five was shot that through like a cannon on the right the, side here. Absolutely. And uh, nobody touched him. And he ends up taking him for about a two or three yard loss. And now, to me, it looks like South Green. They're going to go for it? Probably going to go for it. Okay. Well, let's let's do it. We Again, we'll work down the field five yards at a time with, with the stop every direction and then just go put it in the end zone. Yeah, bringing in some new personnel. Is that a tight end coming to this near side? Uh, he's in pump formation, but I would. This is oh, a no, you're right. This is a fake. If I've ever seen a fake in my say. life. Nope, nope. He bounces it to the punter again, and get out of the way. It's not going to be able to be filled. great. Bounce, move. Royals bounce. Keep keep rolling. Whoa, what in the heck is he right. doing? <laughs> Don't quite understand how we're going to advance that one. Well, right there, that's that's a Peter Peter call. Get yep. the heck out of Dodge. Yep. You we, leave. we do not get anywhere near that football. We had a uh, we had a break there where the ball took a royal bounce, and South Green kind of gave us a break by not downing it. Yep. Well, then we almost did them the favor back by trying to field it and dropping it. Oh my goodness! I, I was having Miami Ooh, Hurricane yeah, flashbacks serious. right there. <laughs> seriously. All right. Rose to the line. Let's see if we can keep that momentum and, and maybe hit it this time down the field. Motion that direction, trying to set up. Ooh, nice misdirection. Able to. I like that. That's a good play right there. What's? I like that play. All right, Brandon getting the signal in from the sideline quickly. Yeah, it, it's, it's Again, not, we got that it's, it's far side of the field. Sure like to take this second and reasonable and, and see if we could take another shot down downfield. So this is a great down here. Well, but they go with a handoff, push forward again for the first down. And right now, Ian, we're moving the I was football. Say, well, we're moving them, right? It's not just we're, we're getting like racing them to the corner. We're, we're that pushing. is another Mower Works first down. First down. We, we're Little River excavating first down. But that's the fourth first down in in the first quarter for the Royals. And have we ever been able to say that? Uh, not, <laughs> not in a while. It's uh, it's been a while. I don't know if we had four la uh, last game. I was gonna say. So let's keep this rolling. Pounding him on the ground. You got a blitz Ooh. on the outside. But He's got to get away. In the right direction. Going, Oh. oh man, I just hope he turn up. Yeah. All right, now number thirty just grabbed his foot and tore his shoe off. Ouch. Now, yeah, now that, 
33, grabbed Nate Clemmer's shoe yeah. and ripped it oh, off of him. I was worried more about his ACL than anything with the way he was going after his legs. Goodness. <laughs> I know that basketball coach probably had a little panic right Yeah, there. we don't like that at all, but, <laughs> you know, if I'm Nate Clemmer, I'm finding that cat next play. Yep. But right now, this is, this is our first play behind the sticks, and let's see what we do. I like um, Navarre up here on the left. I agree, but they're looking the other way. Go to Fox up near the original line of scrimmage. And he, 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 got back, he got back the loss. Yeah, and a, and a few more. So oh. we're, we're a lot better than third and 14, about third and seven. Third down and eight. Yeah, so third down and eight. We got plays in the playbook for that, as uh, <laughs> Coach Davis <laughs> likes to say. I mean, they could run this here. I, I mean, I don't know if we would go for it here because defensively we're playing well right now. Well, it, it's that, but we've got a single to this near side uh, out here wide. Uh, now we're motioning in this direction. We're definitely looking there. He's, He's got, got him. on a slant. Uh, looks to get it with his legs and is almost there. Uh, Coach, you said you didn't know if you'd do it. That's going to be close. Uh, I don't think he's got it, but but do you go for it here? It's it's third and one and a I heard, now that I heard the, I thought I heard him yell punt, but I, I don't see Steinbach coming out. I say I think Brandon wants uh, to go. But here's what we had, Ian. They had uh, 11 across the um, middle. I was going to say, relation was, was open on that slant, right? And, and he had first down yardage, and I thought Nate got a little happy feet yep. and, and, and ran too soon. Yep. So, you know, fourth down and two, maybe that's a hard count. Nate's good at that. Well, no, we're going for it. Uh, he was held. No flag. That's rough. He's got his arm draped over the top of him. I'm not sure I like the play call there, but, you know, it comes down to it. I. I Coach agree with you, there. Ian. I, I thought the guy had a handful of jersey no, no, as, he's, for it. Uh, as he's coming across. He was held. I thought there was a flag. I know we don't all have the eagle eye up in the sky like, like we got up here in the press box, but, man, that was, that was hard. Turnover on downs. South Green takes over at the 45, their own 45. All right, let's see what the defense can do. I, was say, I feel like we've been on this. They, they've started every uh, – uh, Possession from uh, Geo. Geo got in there and slowed him down, but what Geo Geo's got to learn to wrap up right say, there. Hold on tight, because if he wraps him up, that's a negative play. Say, Instead, it ends up being a, minus one. Yeah, you know, a six-yard gain. Now second and four, second and five. That's and takes us to the quarter break. But hey, if you told me right now that we were zero zero with four or five first downs in the first quarter, I, I, I'd take it. I agree. I think we're going to run over to our uh, one and only John Kobe here in just a second. Uh, we have been remiss outside of Mower Works. We just had so much action. We hadn't been able to thank so many of our sponsors. So we're going to head over to him right now. Right there. All right. Well, guys, we got a few great sponsors. First of all, starting with our buddies over at Broadway Bar Barber Shop. Broadway Barbershop, our touchdown sponsor. Hopefully we'll be hearing from them plenty tonight. Broadway Barbershop, been around since 1958. They know what they're doing. If you need a cut, go see our buddies over at Broadway Barbershop. Next up, Coons Cram Course. ACT is coming up for our juniors, uh, especially as they become seniors next year. Every single point counts. That is money in the bank. Scholarship money. Call our guys over at Coons, 865-387. 0815 and last but not least our longest term sponsor gt shelly enterprise gt shelly if you need some work done on your yard it is uh about to be leaf season call our guys over gt shelly 865-441-6999 back to you coaches right, zoom in on their quarterback number 14 14 All right, white looks like and coaches white. are currently working on right there. We've got uh, second down Handoff and a stop in the backfield. Yeah, that's a great 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 play right there as Colton relation our leading tackler John gets in there and uh, Wreaks a little havoc Well, and, and able to really flip, flip this whole possession now you're uh, third and long uh, little confusion here we're getting everybody off the field are we able to we're not quite able to get set uh, he's being held yeah, tyson say, click was being held jersey uh colton's able to 
slow him down and bring him down. Now, I, I've got a pretty dang good look at this, and he had hands all inside of Tyson Click's jersey. Tyson couldn't get away from him. Now, let's be honest, Coach. Right now, that's about the only way you can stop the boy, right? Well, I mean, you you take that, Ian, and now it, it becomes third and 22, and we flip the field now. Now, again, hopefully we're able to capitalize on one of these uh, bounced uh, long snaps. Cause they looking like they're coming out here in the we got a lot of bats flying around down here well it is halloween or getting close all right oh it's a fake and it's wide open yeah we knew that was coming i mean you saw it yep able to steal one here but we're able to get him down right around the 10 yard line Whew. man that's a gut punch I think, you know, after the big loss play, I think the defense kind of relaxed. Yep. yep. I thought the last play they were lined up like they were going to. But then they saved it. They were going to fake it. And we knew it was just a matter of time, and there it went. Yep. Well, and, and I think all the Royals were, were about to get him, but it's designed that way, right? Coach just throws it right over the top into the wide open receiver. And that, that hurts badly. Yep. Well, and hopefully we can just have that tough mindset and get a stop right here. Uh, Need a turnover or a hold or something. Got a timeout, I think. And There's timeout on the field. Probably a wise choice here. Uh, here at the start of the second quarter, try and get a game plan together and, and uh, try and shake that last, last play off. Uh, again, we got a little, little bit of a timeout here. We're going to send it over to uh, John Coey with another word from, from our wonderful sponsors. Motorworks. Motorworks is a fantastic company that employs a couple of our own eagles and girls. If you need your mower work done, it's the end of the season, but uh, still got to get, get those weeds cut up, get yourself over to Motorworks, get some mulching blades, 865 -213 -2773. Well, and, and John, you say a couple of Royals. I, I think that's a, a bit of a, an understatement. I, I can think of uh, it, <laughs> quite a few more than a couple that, that uh, have been able to go over there and, and have some great opportunities. Just some wonderful folks doing uh, 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 some, some fantastic work over there. You should definitely, uh, if you need some, some work, they should be your first call. Royals are back out on the field now. Uh, Willie's getting in there late, but should be more than enough time. We're going to... See if we can't get a stop or maybe even a turnover, get things going in the right direction. Coach, can you see anything down there from, or you're on the opposite side of the field? Yeah, I'm on the opposite side. Now, I like nice. It's good penetration. It is. Get him for about a one yard loss, well, but now. And if he hadn't gone this way, he would have run in Geo on the other side. So. Uh, and you, you take away the, the fake punt. They got, they got nothing. Negative yards, right? It's just a, a so far a defensive and what a statement it would be right here for <laughs> to get a stop yeah hold them to three do something here i don't know what kind of kicker they got I was but say i don't know that they got the kicker to be able to make it if, especially if we're able to get another negative play i think somebody had blood on their jersey had to come off for south green um I don't like the, the matchup on the outside here steinbach on the outside top of your screen john ian yep um I would look for probably South Green to try to exploit that. Well, if we're able to get in the backfield as quickly as we were, and oh, uh, oh, uh, we had a whistle well before the. I think a little uh, false start. that would have to be a false start. Yeah. Otherwise, you'd you'd at least let them have a free play, right? But they had they they, they had Steinbach. All right, I'll be over there with the battery. Well, unless this is a procedural one, we're going to back them up for another five yards, right? Yep, false start. Back him up. Yeah, let's keep on pushing him that direction. Again, this would be what, 35-yard uh, field goal at this point? So we're probably in four-down territory unless they, they, they advance. Uh, I won't have to come up there. I think Randall was trying to call me. Have him call me again there, Ian. All right, will do. Randall, call him again. Sorry to handle our technical we're able to get a free one oh 
I almost thought, able to sniff out that. Yeah. that, that, that I thought Jesus stumbled 70 yards on yeah. that. Well, and I don't know how they got it over him. He's a big, big fella. It's third down. All right, third down, but again, I, I would assume we're probably in, in four down territory, unless they got some special teams that, that we haven't seen so far. Goodness. All right, lining up here for a third down play. We've got three receivers to the near side. Again, that, that match up there on the high side. Uh, oh, but we're able to get that pressure. He's able to escape. Got a man in the end zone. He's coming down with it at the five yard line. Coach, I don't, I don't know how we can't lose contain. But it's all right. We got a fourth down play from the five yard line. Stop him here, and we're heading the right direction. We'll have a long way to go, but better than giving up six. A huge fourth down right here. Again, take a moment to uh, talk about our, our amazing camera work up here in the, the, the top cam by Landon, but also uh, Landon McClurg, but, but also uh, uh, these end zone. Timeout, timeout, South Green. And uh, probably a, a smart one. This is, uh, I think they feel, one of their only opportunities that's going to be down here uh, near the goal line. Well, right now, Ian, if you're Coach Childs and that staff, you got to be happy with how your defense is playing. No doubt. You've only given up, you know, that one play right there. Is, is the biggest chunk play, and it's about 10 yards given up all night. Yep. So, uh, and, and even that was a breakdown where he had to scramble out to the side and, and you know, hook up with a guy. It wasn't designed. Yeah, so right now, I don't see them trying to run the ball. They've had zero success running the football. Uh, I would see a slant right here. Watch out well, for a slant on the top. But the great thing about that is if you can establish an inside position, we can blow that up pretty quick. So. But a moment ago, I thought we were going to have another Gio Habali John. Rumble stumble for a 70-yard touchdown as that uh, pass was knocked down on the on the on the negative yardage play. Nothing else would, would be better than that right there, Coach. Coach West, I'm back. Hey, I'm I'm so happy you're back. Still couldn't get it fixed, but I'm back. Uh, well, they you can let them know the NFHS camera's going, so they'll have the. They're on they're on our stream right now watching it. So. Okay. Better than nothing, I suppose. So a huge play right here, Randall. Yeah, I mean. I think you're throwing the football here. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. Look for a slant. Well, they haven't been able to get positive. 21. Rolling to that side, creating a little bit more time. Get him down. Get him down. Woo! Big play. Huge Big play, play by the Royals. Cox coming up in support. Who was there first, Coach? I, I didn't see. All right, right now. Lane Coat. This is the best I've seen our defense play all year. Yeah, Coach, I mean, pl playing with some purpose, you know. I mean, I, I know I was back here messing around with some technical stuff, but just uh, every play you feel like they are – they're they are doing what they're co coached to do. Yeah. And they're, they're in they're, the backfield. And, right? and, they're, and they're wrapping up. They're making tackles. And the offense, Randall, is about a, a play away from breaking one. Yep. Right. Back in a little two-by-two two set here. I mean, again, they're they're still in a pretty light box. I was say, but South Green, oh nope, little drop. He's able to. Oh, he left it on the ground. But he was able to get it back. No, South Green recovered it. Oh, I don't like that because we've done that twice and it's fumbled twice. It's uh, I just don't like the play call. Well, we we had the play, you know, against I, I guess I think it was Hampton where we got about thirty on that one down the sideline. But we certainly have a higher fumble. Uh, it almost uh, felt like the turf monster came I out. Mean, right now, Coach lot. Coach Childs talked pregame about protecting the football. Yep. And we get a great defensive stand. We got to take care of the ball. Yeah, I mean, I, I think so far, you know, you've done you've done well with uh, tackling the ball. You know, tackling the football, and but you got to protect it there. You 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 can't. It was one of my keys to the game, Coach. You know, I talked earlier is you, we can't we can't keep setting ourselves back. You know, we got to play our game and do it the right way. But I mean, you can't ask any more of this defense, and we put them in bad situations right here twice in a row. Well, let's do it again. Push him back, put him down. Able to stop him there at the five yard. I, I don't. I, you know I, what I find funny about that play right there, Coach West, is they've obviously watched some film on Hampton and Happy Valley because they uh, they just went a little shotgun power eye right there and handed the football off. And yeah. you know something we struggled to do to to stop against uh, Happy Valley and Hampton for sure. But I'm not I'm not sure they have the horses to run it. 
Well, they they don't have number twelve from from Hampton. That's that's for sure, and they don't have the the big boy from Happy Valley. Now get hey Randall, you you were uh, doing being um, Al Gore and fixing the internet. Uh, <laughs> Steinbuck up here at the top. They had him last time. I'd look for it right here. Get him in the backfield. Put him. Uh, that's in. touchdown. Oh. Nice little play right there. Some good misdirection got me on it for sure. Nice little play right there. The thing the thing that I'm seeing that that I think both teams need to be watching for here early is we're already getting a little little testy a little pushy you know after the play charlie johnson kind of got thrown down there late um you know I, I i think the officials need to be on watch for it and we need to make sure we keep our head and uh just go get the football right here and score you know unfortunate turnover after two really three really good stops defensively block that's big could come in play later, especially with our I mean, uh, if it extra point prowess. Ian, Ian Scott, if you look back on our game against West Green here, them not being able to make field goals, the difference. extra points was the difference in the football game. and So that's a big stop right there for uh, get, getting that. We just we got to find a way to, to move the ball, execute, hit one of those big plays. I mean, we had Navarre earlier, and it was just a – you know, one of those plays, and so we got to find a way to to well, execute and, and one of them. I like rolling uh, Nate out of the pocket, dra dragging Navar or, or Willard across with him, give you some options there. Yep. I don't think we have to be cute. We just got to execute because we've moved the ball. Yeah, I mean, it seems like every time we we do some kind of RPO with a with a little glance route, little slant route in the middle with with Willard or with Navar, it's there. But you saw the the uh, the one misdirection over here where it was the fake across and then. Yep. It came back this direction it works but it's not a, a pitch play it's not having a, to be all timing uh no i, I agree with you coach and, and hopefully we can uh get things headed okay. go a long way here if we get good field position we got a few kids back there that, that have got some speed and some some well, breakaway all right we're, we're lining up a little bit farther back giving them a little more respect than we did last time hopefully let we'll... that get out of bounds they're gonna make it nope uh, mm. no oh if you, uh, that's if you luck. could if you could draw up the perfect kickoff, that was it. Just yeah. drop it right inside yeah. a ten and let it let sit. Die. Yeah, that was that was a well executed. I'm not sure on purpose, but well executed kick. Hey, uh, you know I'm an offensive guy. That gives us more yards to put on the stat book. Let's but, go push it down and coach. I know how interested you are, Randy. Seven nothing Cleveland here in the first quarter. Hey, go Blue Raiders. Actually, no. I'm sorry. I gave you too much false hope there. Seven nothing Rebels. Uh -oh. uh, yeah. Wow. Uh, that is not as it's exciting. It's six as... nothing Rebels here, I and mean, it's about to change real quick, yeah. right? A little trip. I thought if we snapped that, they had 12 guys on the field. Should have just snapped it and taken a five. A little GT action. And he's able, patient run. I'm not sure that wasn't a, a leading with the head. 21's a good little football That is a late player. hit. Yeah. 21's a good little football player. I would certainly be looking at that, though. If... Coach, have we... <laughs> Have we had any flags so far? I don't think we, a, besides a, a little a illegal procedure. And, uh, yeah. But, hey, that that little GT right there pulling the guard tackle, Lane did a good job of, of being patient behind it and sticking it up in there. Well, again, getting us some positive yards on first down, setting up a, a good solid first or second Come, down. Keep going to yep. that. Push keep going to, it, to push that. Push to it and make them That's a late hit, Randall. Yeah. Well, and, and, and I think it was the same player, if I'm not mistaken. Well, he's, he's, th he's two yards into the boundary. And again, I said it right after the touchdown. They're they're they are certainly testing the edge. South Green is on, you know, some of those hits and, and late blocks. And look, you want to block to the whistle, you want to tackle to the whistle, but I, I don't think there's much room in, in this for for some of that late stuff. So, well, we got a whole lot of space there in the slot. Are we going to be able to exploit it? Well, not on this one because we're handing the ball off. A little, little trap, not much there. Uh, These bats are coming close to my hair. I see that. Yeah, I, I like the uh, I like what you're saying there, Ian. Over here on this trip side, there's there's no one over top of number two. Navarre is 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 not being guarded, and, and I mean, yeah, there's a safety deep, but I would uh, I'd block number ten and block number twenty four and let Navarre go to work. You know, I mean, a little little quick screen of number two certainly something in our arsenal. So, oh RPO had the bubble there. Well, and they they covered that Coach well. Coach West talked about the happy feet and, and maybe uh, bailing on it too early. What do you think about that one, Coach? 
Yeah, I mean, me, I, I, you know, they, they ran a little bubble slant there. They did a really good job with their inside guy, that outside linebacker kind of nickel guy of uh, playing the playing the bubble, and, and the slant was covered pretty well. You kind of, you know, when that happens, that's your read is you go bubble, you go slant. When right. it's not there, you, you try to go get Coach, what you can what are we get. doing here with this little stack formation? Uh... Just trying to it, – it's really just trying to throw off the coverage. I, I love stack out of two by two. Throw it. Throw it, Nate. Well, he's able to, and he's got a lot of green in front of him, able Just to run out. forward for a mower works first yeah. down and avoid the hit. But I, I thought he had Willard. He may have. Well, and again, when you're able to pick up that much yardage, uh, uh, you can't fault him too much, but we would like to be able to see uh, uh, some aggressive maybe – Staying in that pocket at extra count. It's it's the progression that he will continue. You know, look, we've, we're have seven games in, but this is seven games in of him being a varsity quarterback. You know, the progression certainly will get to where it's one, two, three. I see the read. I make the throw. And um, But but right there, you you love to see a positive play, a first Good, down. Quick one. Oh. Again, that's that that's, that's got to be a flag. I don't, I don't know how that's – I, that is at least the third time that that same player has done that, and there's nothing legal about that. If they call it in college, I'm not sure how it's not being called in high school. I feel well, like Randall, you know, I'm a, been ejected for that in, in college. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a soft basketball coach, but that was shoulder to the face mask. Yep. Glad, hey, obviously glad to see Willard pop right back up. Tough kid, and um, but, able to control himself when when. But I certainly would be talking to that ref saying, look, we, we can't allow them to keep doing that. That's a safety issue. Uh, a little delay. He had somebody for go half get what count, you can get. Go get what he can get. Nice stiff arm. That's that's a late hit, too. You know, I mean, it's the shove. It's well, the shove and, late. And they're cutting it close, but it, it it's extra. And if you're going to call it or you need to call it, otherwise it's going to continue to get worse. Hey, guys, I'll, uh, I'll have Coach Childs uh, at halftime right before he goes into the locker room. Okay, perfect. Well, well I'll, uh, I'd Looking like to, to that. Here definitely he's... have you ask him about what he's thought about some of that. And, um, you know, obviously want to see us go down and get a touchdown here and, and be up, you know, going into that halftime. Just another trap there. A couple of three yards on the, game, on the play. Able to get positive yards. It's my favorite playing football, Coach. A little short trap. I love it. Is if it we just could, because was that guard come over and, and just a guard pull and kick, yep. staying flat to the line. Um, you know, it's not. I don't. It, it, this is obviously a three-man front team, so you're still trapping that end like you would on a long trap. But um, it's just such a quick hitter, and if you if you block well at the point of attack, it's a it's a pretty nasty play. But third and well, about four here. Look for an RPO, something to Navar, maybe to Willard. Or just Quarterback keeper. run, and absolutely. He's got, the space. He's got some get, room. Get down, get down. That's a dang flag. No, I'm sorry, guys. He's, they brought him here today. Coach. He's he's uh yeah that was that was a. Yeah, hey, child, I got I got child's is, child's is, child's is mad. Hey, I got a, I got a little excited on that one, but that was helmet to helmet. That was absolutely uncalled for. Yeah, uh, Coach Childs is uh, giving him an ear, earful down there. I'm so. getting ready to go. I mean, at a certain Another point, it's about player safety. Down, I mean, you so. just – you got to – I mean, I don't – I believe in playing football, but I don't believe in that. Rolling the pocket that direction. He's got him open. He overthrew him. Yep. But Man, able to corral good, it and good get play. out of bounds. Stopping that clock. I mean, you go back to it. It's he's, You're coming in. You're leading with a helmet, and there's no call. Yeah. Now, good thing is, is we got great shots of it over here if we if, if we got them. <laughs> They're certainly available to review if they would like if, to check those uh, out. It's, it's baffling to me. That's right. a big word, Coach West. You got four on Wordle today. <laughs> nice little run. Hard run by Lane. Hang on to the ball, Big Bang. Yeah, but he's yeah. able to continue to move the pile forward. Here's what I like about Lane Cope right there. Two hands on the football. Two hands on the football, and uh, he, yep. he's protecting the ball. Yep. All right. Clock is uh, about to hit 2.30 left here. So third down and three. We're able to get this first down. We've got to feel good about where we're going. Plenty of time on the play clock. There's no need to get in a hurry here. I say, make sure everybody's on the same page. I might run the football with the far side. I, I like I like the top of the screen. Yep, I agree. Yeah, I, I was just running right behind him. I was about to say I might run it with Nate here. 
try to get that. Able, yeah, he's able to get it. It's close. That's a terrible spot, That's by the way. Well, we, side, our, yeah, our, our side looks like. But he's not the one spotting it, Coach. Well, but he spotted it on the 25-yard line, and Nate, the ball landed on the 24. I was going to say, his – Hey, I, I think I'd be going with the brotherly shove here. It's gotten a lot of heat in the NFL. They're, they're talking about outlawing it. But, yeah, I'd get under center and, and let them push. Get up there, lane, and push them, son. He ain't close enough. He ain't even anywhere close to push them. He's leaning over it. He uh, he didn't spot it. The guy on the outside has no idea where he's going. He just took a step now, in. This guy over here has, has got, got a good right, look on it. But I don't. But think now he's he walking back to the other guy. Certainly think it's going to be close. If I'm Coach Childs, I'd make sure and, and ask for a measurement. The guy, the guy, the guy walked in. And he's short. You sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. But he walked he in. From from here, it doesn't look like the the marker is to the line. The ball is on the 24 yard line. He, he didn't spot is it. The, the marker on the 24. The, the ball. The head of the ball is on the 24. Well, and the, the, from here, it looks like the sticks are right in front of it, right? Yeah, I, I, from here, it looks like the sticks are. He's a, he's a, he, he's three inches short, but the side judge walked in about a, about a two feet as he walked in off the sideline. I thought Nate had it by a good half yard. Well, here's hoping we get. Uh, no, he's short. Got it. By a nose. No, they hadn't put it down yet, fellas. He ain't got it. He got it. Yes, sir. No, he didn't. Yeah, he, yeah, he did. Yeah, he, Coach West, uh, because of your great, I was gonna say, because of your great camera work on on the sideline down there, we yeah, had a great view of it. Yep. You, you 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 take my migraine headache and then some of the late hits I've seen. You know, my head's already hurting. I don't mind going out there and hitting again. Now we gotta we gotta make sure here uh, offensively that we're looking at the clock. It's yep. uh, obviously first down right. there, but here. minute and a half. So. Um, just want to make sure that we move with some purpose and we use our timeouts that we've got. Yeah, no need to rush, but definitely need to be purposeful. Just follow the ball. All right, we, uh, we got two timeouts, so we got plenty of time here, guys. No doubt. Just got to make sure we're mindful. We're not, uh, we're, we're, you know, getting to the ball with a little bit of purpose and, and uh, you know, not rushing anything, though. Plenty of time here from the, what, 24-yard line. Clock starts to run now. Got three to the near side. We're going to roll it this way and see what we can hit. No. Nope. But we hit that crossing route with some space. Hang on we to it. One person miss. Hold on to that ball. He stays up. Navarro McDonald Reisner. That's first and goal. Yep. First and goal. From the five or the six, Coach? Looks like they're about the six. Got a player down for them. So that's going to be a little bit of a timeout. Keep it, keep it right um, there. Don't let it drop. Really getting excited for, for our chances here to call out one of our favorite sponsors, Indeed. Broadway Barber. But, um, you know, got six yards to go. But let's go over to Kobe for a quick uh, sponsor spotlight. Let's go over to John Kobe for a quick sponsor spotlight. All right. We uh, are hoping that this graphic's gonna come up real soon. Broadway Barbershop, uh, you know, football's games of inches, so is a barbershop. If you want a close shave, see our guys over at Broadway Barbershop. They've been around for a long time. If you want to look better than Coach West, you need to go to Broadway Barbershop, guys. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. I'm uh, always thankful for Broadway Barbershop. Johnny Morgan over there, big supporter of the local schools here. Uh, hopefully, we're quickly becoming his favorite school. But gonna wow. keep putting up some Broadway Barbershop touchdowns, and I think he'll he'll be a little more excited about them. Coach West was talking about those bats being so close to his hair. I was about to ask what hair at that <laughs> point, but uh, I ain't got much room to talk on that that front. So. All right, glad to see uh, number 54 up. Does does moving. look like he's he's yep. moving slowly, but you know that's that's always our goal here is to make sure we see everybody get out of here healthy. healthy. So um, again, on the six here, Coach West, uh, you know, what what are you looking to do? I mean, we've we've had a pretty good drive here. I, I think that you know you could see Nate running the football here. The the clock is running. I feel like you either got to do that or, or something quick to Reisner here in the slot, right? 
Although you got Gio with his at H back, right? Can you run right behind him? I think that's got to take trying. a timeout right there, probably. But down, you've got two to oh, give, right, Coach? Fifty seconds, maybe, maybe just hurry and get one more in, and then, you know, take those timeouts on your last two plays. Moving with some purpose here. I always get a Lancey right here, Coach. I understand. Might be looking for a little quarterback run to the outside with a double lead block here. Well, especially with the timeout in your pocket. If it doesn't go, you, you've got something to do. Uh, just over through. He, he caught it. He caught it, no. Out of bounds. Got a little glare here. He got out of bounds. <laughs> yeah, a little flat there, but really, really that play was made by the good coverage from the, the DB. I mean, he made a great catch, and, uh, you know, the thing there is is uh, they had someone right on him, but got out of bounds, 20 seconds. You got two plays. You got two timeouts. Well, that one may have backed us up just a smidge, right? We're yeah, well, I, th we're, I think we're back to the original line of scrimmage, around a six. Um I think now you you even though you got the timeouts, you got to be doing what you got to do to get six. Oh, they went ahead and called a timeout right there, so they got one in the pocket. Now this can't be short of the goal line. South Green took that South one. Green, I believe. Was it South yeah, Green? South Green okay. took that timeout. Right there, Randall. I like the use of Geo, but, but we got to get him to the end zone. Yeah, I, I talked to I talked to Coach uh, Branton some this week about you know. Obviously, you, you've coached you've coached uh, Geo for a year, and it's yeah, a kid that he's that, a great kid. It's he's just, learning the game, and and that's part of why there's not been a huge uh, push to get him uh, super involved offensively. But but Coach Branton did make sure to point out, you know, he is a weapon. He's yeah. a physical kid, and if he can figure out a few things, he is a, a tough tough matchup for a lot of kids. The good thing right there is he got out of bounds. Yep. So timeouts over. Uh, again, you're looking. You got six yards. You got two plays. You got two timeouts here. Um, I, I think you you probably are going to go to the air, but you do have the ability if you want to try to run the football with Nate, which is you've had some success with tonight. Um, you have that ability because you can call a timeout, um, and and then you know you got one play to to get it. So um, looks like they're back in ten personnel. Oh, with a little stack for little. either side. Yep. And then Ooh, they're actually spot. an empty, yeah. a little empty action. First time of the night. Well, but now they pull it across. You Throws up. Inter between. No, it's incomplete. Incomplete. Okay. Man, Navarre was wide open, just standing there, wide open. Yeah, now, do you, you, we kick it here? I don't know that we can see him. There. Yep, they're going to kick it. I mean, I, I think it, you, you kick it and it puts you within another field goal of – you know, and I think this early good. in the half, you've, you're you're the one that's moved the ball. You, you feel good about what your defense has done. Their their score is on a turnover and really good field position. So, yeah. and, and again, their field position at the beginning in the first quarter was off of a really good call on a fake punt. You know? I'd fake it right here. And that's what they're doing. No. At least made them burn a timeout. Yep. I actually, Coach, I saw him practicing that thir uh, yesterday. So, yeah, um, little, little interesting set. You know, those are the kind of plays that sometimes you do just to make somebody burn a timeout. Yep. Uh, Lenore City did that for years. They they would start out in that swinging gate, and they would base it: are are we going, or are we going to kick it based on how the defense lines up? You know, and got a lot of timeouts out of people, and got a lot of two point conversions. You can feel that timeout early in the game or in the half. Pay you some dividends later on. Scott West, uh, Red Rebels up 10 nothing, 7 nothing right now. 10 nothing. they just announced it. Oh, they must have just kicked a field goal. Heritage was up on somebody. I didn't hear who it said, but. Now they 13 7. Are they, uh, are they kicking this? They have the kicker back out there. I was say, he, he's lining Yeah, they're kicking it. Yep. But, uh, 13-7 over at Mike Whitefield for the Governor's uh, DB you, up. You never know here because Nate, Nate is the holder. I think you got to try to go get the points. That is a tough one from that angle, though. Say, it seems like a sharp, sharp turn. He is left-footed, though. <laughs> Able to just sneak it through. Yep. That's good. I don't think that's the prettiest one he's going to kick, but, but it counts the same. Now, what you got to do here is – Get this kick off. Make sure you hold it. Uh, go into the half down three, and um, you know, come out and play defense like you've been doing, and and just capitalize. I mean, again, on that one, we know that we we should have been close, and um, 
we, we had some chances, but you, you love to get points out of it, and now you're in a one-score game. Field goal ties it, touchdown gives you the lead. Yeah. And the great thing about a touchdown and extra point is it puts them out of being able to kick a field goal to tie it up. So, Yeah, I'd like to add six there, but, you know, if you come out of that and you don't get anything, it's that, that's tough. And now you, you go to the locker room, you feel a little better about yourself. Your defense has played really well. Well, and in for the middle of the field, the offense is, has done great. We just – quite haven't been able to put it all together well yeah it's just i mean unfortunate one on that that interception i i feel like guys at the end of the day you know i've lived it and you all have lived it as basketball coaches i know the amount of time these coaches put into this they they grind you know every time i walk into the rack down there coach bruton and coach childs are talking defense bores me to tears um but at the end of the day, we're our coaches are always going to put them in a in a good position. It's about execution. Um, looks like we had a little maybe a blue cannon go off down there, but uh, oh. I like a little squibber there. Oh my! Come on, run, 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 run! I don't love twenty one having it. I don't. I don't love missing that tackle. Yeah, but he's able to get him out of bounds. And you just about ran all the time off the clock. Yep. Yeah, that was. Uh, that was a oh my, oh my, oh no. Gabe, that was a little heartburn right Gabe, uh, Gabe kicks a better squib slash onside kick than I've seen a high school kicker kick in a long time. It's got Jackson Rayburn extremely excited. Yeah, he, he, does a, he does a great job of getting that thing kicking down on the top of that and getting some crazy bounce out of it. So Jackson certainly brings the energy. But if I'm South, you know what, what's South, uh, South Green going to do here? They're going to they're going to take a knee and take it to half, not chance anything. Well, I'm, I'm going to take this moment to point out all the uh, students in their Halloween costumes early. Yeah, we got Barney down yeah, there. Barney, several uh, T Rexes. Uh, hopefully, we're just going to have a little. Looks uh, like they're going to take a knee here. Yep, I like it. Takes us into halftime. Well, at, at halftime here at Robert M. Maxey Field at the Crown, the score is South Green 6, Eagleton 3. Hope uh, Coach West is going to get a little interview here with Coach Childs, uh, see how that goes. We'll take a break and see you guys on the other side. Hey. We're live. I Coach, you, your defense has played the best I've seen all year. As a matter of fact, as good a defense as I've seen in a couple of years out of anybody, you got to be extremely pleased about that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, they, we talked all week, do your job, do your job, do your job. You know, I know that sounds stupid and repetitive, but that's what it is, man. It's line it up, see the ball. What did I tell you pregame? See the ball, yeah. tackle the football. Offense has moved the ball. What's the other thing I told you yeah. pregame? Don't remember. I got a headache. No, Can you hear? <laughs> Pre-game, I told you, take care of the football, tackle the football. What yeah. did we not do? Well, didn't take care of it. But now, I love the way you're tackling. I thought um, uh, Fife had a great couple of plays, uh, clicks getting in there, causing some havoc. Unlucky on the interception. I thought if if if, if he could have got his head around, he's going to he's gonna re-get that and take it back into the end zone. It just didn't go our way. Correct. I, I'd hate to look at deflected balls that have been picked off. Now, this is coming for me. I'm, I'm seeing too many late hits to my liking, and it's uh, maybe on air. I've been a little vocal about it. How many flags have you seen tonight? I've seen none. What fault is that? Yeah. Good luck. Well, there you go, guys. There you go, guys. Uh, Coach Childs is not happy. I'm not happy. Uh, but I'll tell you what I am happy about. I'm happy about how our Royals are playing, and, uh, and let's get ready to go. So uh, go Royals. Your band ready. Okay. 
Yeah. Remember our little dance at Paramount? Yeah, this is our little thing. Everybody got their stuff next to your, where you are, you perform? Yes. What you
Hey there, Coach West. I don't know where you at, buddy. Bye, Coach West. I've been talking into it. You did great, girl. I'm like tearing up.
back in here at Robert and Maxie Field at the Crown of Blount County. I'm excited to get ready going with this second half. Uh, dealt with some technical issues at the half. Got those figured out. Um, but, you know, let's talk a little bit about that first half. Well, and really, much like our technical difficulties here, I feel like it was two steps forward and, and then just something would come up, right? And it's the same thing on the field with these guys. Uh, had those amazing stops. Uh, looked like we get a, a fantastic long reception, but it's tipped. Hey, uh, can you reception. hear me up there, Randy? Uh, we can hear you now, Coach. Yep, we got you. You got us. Yeah, I got you. Uh, down here, the mood on the sideline is really good. I mean, they've got to be they, – they played well defensively. It's just a couple mishaps that they got to get better at. Right now, uh, it seems like they're winning everybody – everybody yeah, on the scoreboard, right? Well, you know, the, the turnover down there, I hate to use a soccer term, but that was unlucky on the tip pass. I mean, that, that could have went – that could have went both ways. And then the fumble uh, was unfortunate. But the defense has, has bowed its back and has played well when it's needed to. Uh, it would have been nice to get six there at the end of the first half, but getting points on the board was a big deal for these young guys. And uh, Hopefully this uh, luck's going to turn in the second half. Yeah, well, it, it, and you know me. I'm Mr. Negative. If, it, if, if you told me 6-3 to three at halftime, I'm going to be pretty happy about it. Yep. Now let's All see what – Now South, South, South Green's a good team. We'll see what they adjust. Running the ball has not been in their favor. I would, I would look for maybe some short passes and some screens coming out of them here in the second half. Now their quarterback certainly has got an arm. I mean, I think the thing in the first half there is, you know, Coach Childs had two key keys to the game, protect the ball and tackle the ball, you know, and uh, certainly have done a good job on tackling the ball. There's been there's been no issues there. We've done a good job. Their, their offensive output has been a big fake punt and, and getting a turnover deep in, in their uh, our own territory. And um, But offensively, we showed that we can do some things. Things, running the quarterback, Lane Cope has ran the ball hard. You know he's not he's not breaking eight, ten, twelve yard runs, but sure. he's he's also not getting tackled in the backfield. We've done a pretty good job of protection against a good defensive Positive front. Plays. Now you said they're going to want to throw the ball more, but the, the problem I see with that coach is is just every time the quarterbacks look to do that outside of the the two plays over here, he's been running, and even the one reception down here in. in deep in our territory, he was running for his life. For sure. I mean, that, that's the thing that if they want to go more towards the pass, then we have done a good job of getting in the backfield. We have to continue doing that, calling the blitzes at the right times, and then making tackles. He, he is – the one thing I have noticed, and Coach West, you might be able to jump in on this, is – the quarterbacks that we've seemed to struggle the most with this year are kids who can really run. Yeah, yeah, and I don't and know if this guy is going to put it on the ground and run it. But, again, Randall, I, I'm looking at them using the screen and some quick slants. I think they'll have some success if they do that. And we'll hopefully I say, all on side. I'm so sorry I didn't say it because I was going to say, is this They the got it. They got it. Where we look to see one of those panted. Man, that was, a, again, I've said Great it time, time and time it. again. You you know, I like being aggressive there. Gabe is really good at onside good at kicks. It. And we had a chance at it, but they were able to grab it. But, again, you you only do that if you're confident in how your defense is playing. Well, and, and as they, they should be because this is where South Green has started just about every drive and – gone just about nowhere yeah and, and a team with a team that's two and five that's playing for a lot here you take risks and i like yeah, I, it. I like the call he was just i mean that was about a split second from being our ball yep back in a little two by two set here out of the shotgun uh gonna see what they a little, little motion here they little reverse. Well, coming back and yeah, they, be we, got, we got nobody contained play, no contain able to Good nope. tackle there. Yeah. I mean, I, you don't want to see the big gain for about 18, 20. But, uh, Stop you know, if we, we as a defensive front get through right there, we have to do a better job of getting outside leverage when we, we don't, we see, we think ball's going away um, to make sure something like that's not coming back. And that play was set up with the two in the first, first half yeah. that, that draw, drew the eyes that direction, got everybody moving there. But, They've only got one of those. But it shows you a lot about what South Green thinks about how we're playing defensively. They They've do, got to do some stuff yep. like that. The screen coming here. Definitely. Are we able to fight through and get him Great still tackle. in the backfield? Great yep. play. Great play. We've done a good job on those screens. You know, yeah. I, I'd like to see our defensive line redirect a little bit 
and try to get in the way of some of those. And obviously, earlier we almost got a pick on it. Sure, but, but uh, you can't right there, Randy. I'd like to see Gio get his hands up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he, he got good pressure on the quarterback, but his hands were at his waist. Yeah, he go. throws it a little or gets I mean, that I mean, he, a little higher. He's gonna have to throw it. Go, up top. Go into basketball yep. mode right yep. there. I mean, he's six four. He, he he puts it up there. That'd be a, in, a big thing to get over. Another one. Another screen, and, and this is what they're going. And wide open. But good tackle good again. Field tackle stops him three yards short of the first down. Three or four, and, and you know, the thing, and Coach West, you're down there on the field seeing it a little more, but it seems like we're getting to the ball better. I mean, those are those are plays in the last couple couple games that are that are big plays. And yeah, you're right. We're, we're doing a better job of, you know, pursuing the ball and, and uh, just they're they're going to – they they are running the football by screening. That's that's what they're trying to do well, right here. And we knew that coming out of halftime, and, and on the reverse – and we were just shifted so far to the, the right side of the field. We had no chance yeah. on that one. Well, and, and when you come back this way, able to sniff it out fairly quickly and stop him. Able to make that open field tackle Here going the again. opposite That's way. That's on the, the ground. And it was backwards, right? Yeah. yeah, that ball was a live ball. Big play. Big, big play for the defense right there. Can't talk enough about how, how well we are doing in, in situations right there where a couple positive plays for South Green and we still are, are coming to play, ears tucked back, ready to roll. Well, and, and Coach, in, in weeks past, we've talked about Connor and sometimes going for, for the right play, and it looks like he's making the, the good decisions this week. Connor is, Connor's earned every bit of the playing time he's he's getting out there. He I is, think they're going for it here, guys. Yeah, I think they are too. Again, what does that tell you now, about? But here's what we know. This is either going to be a slant or a screen. It's not going to be anything downfield. Well, hopefully it's going to be a pick. Now, I don't like the matchup up here with Steinbach. But we're able I to get like in the that. backfield. Yes, sir. I Great like play. That. I love that. 15-yard gain on a stack. You know, just a, a really well-timed six-man blitz right there by our defense. Coach Childs, Coach Bruton drawing it up. And, 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 and all right. Executed fast. Look at On this you. fantastic ready, replay. Uh, Going to be first and 10 here on the 49-yard line, the plus 49. Hey, great field position here, guys. Yep. You could not have asked for a better series right there. Great way to start the half. Especially after a 20-yard gain on a reverse. On first, yep. I would throw it downfield here. Let's see some momentum. Keep it rolling our direction. I'm telling you. That's incomplete. incomplete. That is incomplete. He better. They threw the bag. They threw the bag. I, I don't understand that, Coach. I say maybe the back judge is. They're giving them the ball. What? Yeah, I don't, I don't see that one there, That guys. was an incomplete pass all day. It's just Do been. Do we have a replay of that? Guys, it's just been one after the other. After the other. Tonight, official wise, I mean, he, I don't understand that. He never made a football move. He caught the ball and dropped it, and never made a move. And hey, all we can do here is keep playing the defense we've been playing. You just hate to. But that's just a, that's yeah. just a terrible call. Absolutely, it's almost able to get him in the backfield. Is he able to get him down? Good pursuit yep. there. I mean, when you're playing and, as hard, and now, and you're now, playing as hard as you're playing, and the breaks and, and, and 21's getting up, shoving Connor off of him. They're just letting him do whatever he wants out there, guys. Yeah, I'm not liking the vibe out here at all, and I just don't like it. I know our coaches are young, and they may have gotten a little fired up, but the guys in the stripes just need to do their job. Well, it ain't about liking, folks. It's about making good calls, right? Yeah, that's what kills me about officials sometimes, guys. It's it's, it's yeah, you're out here. You don't spend. 20 hours a week with these guys. You're out here for two hours. Do your job. Little little trip set to the to the field. A speed option play, oh, and he fumbled and it. Ground, and we right got the football, right baby. Make sure he got the bag. bag. Do the bag. He threw the bag. Turnover by the South Green Rebels. Eagleton hey. recovers. And then there's a flag on us. But you know what, Randall? If you continue to let let the game play out the way it has, that's the kind of stuff that's going to happen, Coach West. I just like uh, Joel saying it's on them. Point like, like, like I say in basketball, when there's when there's a questionable things happen, ball don't lie. Yep. It looks like uh, Jonathan Jewell was pointing towards the defense, like they said it was going to be on them. We have to do a good job down there of keeping Staying collecting calm. ourselves and let's go score. And he's yeah, right. 15 yarder okay. on, on the Rebels. Walk it off here, and we're going to start possession in 
Rebel territory, that's always a good but sign. Randall, you made a point earlier in the week when you said it seems like there's something different about this South Green football team over the last three games. Coach, I, I, I did a lot of uh, score watching early in the season, and this team was just rolling. You know, uh, first four games, they, they looked like they were, were going to be the team in the region, and, and something has just has slowed them down. And um, let's see if we can capitalize right here with really good field position. A little confusion here in the backfield. But nice good run. run play. Great, Great run. Uh, here's what I love through. about Lane Cove, guys. Two hands firmly around that football. Patience, again, exactly. running, a, running a little GT right there. It's your favorite it's, play. It's it's a play they put in just a couple weeks ago, but it's effective. You've got, you know, right there Tyson and, and Trevor pulling, and it's two big boys to get behind, you know. And, and, a second, and, and second down three, a I'd go job. for it right here. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going downfield. Let's see if we can get in that blue. And no. No, but, well, who knows? He's able to get the edge. Oh, Ow. good tackle. Good it tackle was. there. A little low, but um, it's enough for a first. A more first, first down. First down. So that's going to give us first and 10 on about the 27 and a half, 20, Let's 27. Let's keep it rolling. Momentum hopefully is on our side. And Coach West, the thing the thing that, you know, if we can go score here and not show too many of the big plays, if we can get the ball back, maybe we can do some kind of dagger play with oh, I agree. putting it away. We're, we're moving the ball. They've, they've Blitz gotten, coming here, Randall. Watch Blitz on it. Oh, dro dropped out of it. Uh, uh, you know, again, just it's one of those things when something's working, you keep doing it. Good, good little run by, by Nate there. My, what four or five five yards on the play? Yeah, that's a, that's a good great. I mean, you get four or five yards on first down carry. It opens the playbook up. I mean, it gives you some options where you don't feel like. I would uh, love to see them go to Willard King right here in the slot. Yeah, another little slant over the Just middle. Just right up the middle. Let's I mean, go. They don't have anything deep. I mean, they they've, I they've there's went. No it looks like they've the went top. man. Oh, able to corral it for. A moderate gain. Again, that was close to another late hit on Nate there. You know, I, I, he, he was he was feeling I mean, the third down in less than a yard here. I think this is two down territory. Agreed. You, you got to go get the first down. However, you got to get it here. Or do you tie the game with a? Can you kick it from there? It's it's, it's tight. That's that's. I think that's on the edge of his range. Watching him in warm ups. So watching him yesterday, he was kicking from about twenty five. So that he can he can do a thirty five yarder. Yeah. Got Geo in there, a little 20 personnel. I love to see that. A little quarterback run. Running right behind him, and he's able to get first down. For Should a first be a first. Down. It's going to be well, close. I was going to say. The spot that he gave us over here, I, I think that's going to be enough. Yep. They're calling fourth down. Wow. Uh, I don't. Wow. Again, I'm going brotherly shove right here. I'm getting that thing under center and going for it. Push them. Rely on those big guys in the middle. Your three best offensive linemen you got are right there in the center. Well, even if you don't get it, you've got them deep in their territory and, and hopefully able to get it right back. Yeah. They're in the shotgun. Yeah. I don't like this at all. Uh, got Geo in there. Now they're yeah, bringing everything. Run right behind him. He's going to get it. He's going to get more. Patient, is he able to? Oh. Nice play. Nice play. play. Go. He got a glimpse of that end zone and almost was able to shoot through. And you know what that is, guys? That's another mower works. First down. Hey, we, we haven't called Johnny Morgan and Broadway Barber. I'd like to do that here in just a second. Johnny, I, I think we got one coming for you right here. Yep. We're on the uh, eight-yard line. Um, let's see what First Coach Brenton draws downs. up. I like to run a little trap right here with Coach. What do you think, Randall Davis? I, you, you ain't ever going to hear me say no to a <laughs> trap. So, um, you know, I, I, they have tightened the box up, no doubt. They, they are they are stacking it in there a little more. I'm not sure, you, you know, and we're in this bunch formation. I'm not sure you don't throw something out into the flats to Willard King or see if you can't or get another you one in the box. This guy on the eye, who's up on the high side? Is that GT. Colton ran over his own player there. Yeah, I didn't like that one. Yeah. I didn't like getting to the outside the way the line of scrimmage was was well, lined up right there. Running yeah. to the short side of the field. Yeah, I don't. Running it to the bunch can be can be problematic because there's just more bodies there. You know, you're you're running it to a congested area. You have to have everything go right to to get that one. But second second goal on the six. 
uh, back in that little bunch set to the to the uh, royal sideline. Look at the slant. Look at the relation. Wrote, oh, I love it. Throw it to him in the flat. Throw it now, to him in the flat. Throw the ball, Nate. Can't not get the ball out there. Mm. Got to be able to get the ball out right there. Well, and, and Coach, how much of that is just trust? It is. I mean, I knew with the motion that they were going to run him in the flats and probably run some kind of slant up top. And there there was a trailer there. You've got to put a good throw out right there. Right there. That's one, two, and let it go. Yep. One, two, and let it go. Trust Colton that he'll make a play. Instead, he held it for three seconds, and that ends up negative yardage. And, and now uh, you're two and five. This is two down territory. I think some of that depends on if you get some right here. There's that. Oh, and he drops it. Oh. I think you got to kick it here, Coach West. I agree. I, I, think, uh, I think from the 13, you got to kick it. Yep. It's just that you're asking for a lot on fourth down. 13 yard plays aren't something you got in your playbook. Yeah, I agree. If we could have picked up six or seven there, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. But, you know, Nate, Nate's better than that, and he'll get better. But that's two or three times I thought he held on to the ball too long. Well, and. and when you've got the, the, the missed timing on the first one and the drop, it's just hard to get get things together. Let's see if we can punch this through for a – going to be a 30-yarder. Tie game. It's up. It's and good. It's good. And that will make your score. Right. The Eagleton, Ro Eagleton Royals 6 and the South Green Rebel 6. That's a – look – Guys, we, we, we would love to see them being able to execute and, and get some more six and seven point drives here. But uh, you, now you got a top football game. And so now it's time to to uh, buckle up, go continue to play the defense you've played, get the ball back, and, and keep doing what you're doing. Well, I didn't mention last time that it would have been the perfect place for that, that onside. Um, being that we just did it, we don't likely see that right here. But no, I, I think uh, I think with kick the way long and make them make them go the full length of the field. You certainly don't want to continue to give them only fifty. Let's go to uh, John Covey for a sponsor spotlight. Yeah, if you need a good heads up play, then you probably need to study. And what better place to study than Coots Cram Course? Coots Cram Course. Doing advanced ACP prep for a long time. You want to get that score up? Call our guys over at Coots Cram Course, 865-387-0815. Coach West, how much did they save you? John the Coots Cram Course saved me thousands of dollars. Uh, my daughter went from a 29 to a 32. Now, that's almost as good nice. as Ian Britton up here. <laughs> She's a whole lot smarter than Ian Britton. Fair enough. Most people are. Uh, we can't all be John Covey and the, the king of the Segway here. That, that's well played. All right, Gabe, Gabe ready to take a kick here. A little squib, I like yep. it. I like it. Get down, pursue, make a tackle. Wrap them up, Eli. Great play by Eli Campbell. Oh, hey boy, Eli. Great play by Eli Campbell. And, and this is the worst field position they've had all day. So, you know, you're, you, you really want to see uh, defense continue to play like we have. And, you know, if you continue to make the sacks, and, but I, I think you're looking for some, some gimmicky stuff here. And I think you're also looking for, uh, you know, some more of those screens and but stuff like that. I feel like that's where South Green is in the playbook, right? You, you, you're having to go with the more gimmicky type, type plays. Yeah, I don't think there's any doubt. Anybody that's ever called offensive plays, whether that's at the varsity JV level, I've been there. Sometimes you start looking and thinking, man, nothing I'm calling is working. What can I do? So. Um, I think they broke the huddle with 12. I'm pretty sure they did. He was able to get off, but I, I think it don't matter. If you break the huddle, right? Yep. Going a little just power play there. One of the bigger runs they've had all night. Yep. But that being said, it was still not for a first down. Got somebody just a smidge slow to get up. Looks like that maybe Jonathan Jewell. Yeah, that's one of their bigger gainers on uh, first down. But the, the, the M.O. so far has been on these second and five or third and three type plays as we've been able to make a, a, a play at the line of scrimmage or a negative play. And, you know, their, their trips up to their side of the field, uh, we've got pretty good looking coverage over there and uh, one on one down here against Gabe. Just a little swing pass. Yep. Cole, we've got to get out here and make a play. Uh, and, and, guys, you're oh, the experts here. Who's on the pass with Blair? 
I just the, you got you can't have the hesitation on going to make that tackle with uh, Lane. Lane's been our best defensive player probably all year. Him and Tyson, most tackles on the team. Uh, right there, you you've got to you've got to attack and make him try to push something back inside where you've got more help. Do we press the coverage up in that situation and try and get him closer? Is is that have a drawback? What what's the the strategy? Yeah, there? Try I'd watch. That. Press pressing's a little little worse. Some good play there. Good stop on first down. Coach Britton, you, you asked. The, the reason I don't like press is you're asking a lot out of your defensive okay. backs. Um, if I'm an offensive play caller and I've got press coverage and I know I trust number two down here, if I'm play, calling our plays and I see press coverage against Eric Fox, you know, a kid that we know is athletic and can jump, we'll try I'm going after him. You know, and or, you, or you'd rather them get the five than, than the 35. Yeah, because those are touchdowns, yep. not, not you know, if, if you throw the hitch, they got to make a play. And you got to string 10 of these around. Another, another blitz there. Able to get almost to him. Oh, man. Gets it out just, right on time. That's a great open that, field tackle. But, but also, I also, I also, guys, I think that they might have been downfield on that. You cannot throw the ball downfield if they uh, don't throw it behind the line of scrimmage. So, they gave yeah, him a first down that on was, that. That was not a first down, but. I'm just going to go ahead and say it, guys. This has not been a very well officiated game. Um, you know, and I, I, I hate that. And, you know, uh, my view down here had him short, but. Well, your view and everyone else's, Coach West. <laughs> Oh, just nice a little, little delay. Little, yeah. Just a little follow play right there. Don't but tackle him. Uh, here's what I – get him to the ground and yeah. don't let him push for three more yards. I certainly well, I don't. like we pushed him. Yeah, don't tackle him towards their end zone. Uh, yeah, that's just a little follow play, and really that was that was just a good job by the quarterback. I don't know if it was called that way. Or, yeah, but what should have should been a what should have been a three-yard gain ended up being – you know, five or six, and we, cause we just didn't tackle well. We're up around the shoulder pads. It's all right. We're, we're gonna. We just say second and five, five and a half. Let's uh, see Save if we can get big plays around the E, right? See if we can get a negative play here. Good Another time, blitz. well timed blitz. Able to get it out, but our just got tackle. Well, but still slowed saved him down and yeah. saved him. Unable to get that first down. Now we, 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 ha down. We, we had him for no gain. So the thing that I'm really liking, and it's and, and part of what we've done a good job of early in this game, Coach, is uh, we're, we're, we're timing these blitzes up really really well. If I'm South Green, oh, no. I'm not sure I don't go on two at some point. Well, and, and we're getting a little rain down here, guys, which scares me to death because my cameras are uncovered. <laughs> I did so not know it was going to rain. It's, it's not hard, it's but it's just yeah, a, it's real pretty from up here. Yeah. It's just a nice little sprinkle. You can't see it unless you look to the lights. Oh no! Got him beat. Got him high. Is he out of bounds? He's though? out of bounds. He didn't catch it. He didn't catch and it. He was out of bounds. He's there anyway. on the call. He's Good. there on the call. Good but, job. Uh, <laughs> no, it's uh. I mean, I, don't, I can see it raining, but who's, I don't feel it. Who's hurt over there, Coach West? Can you tell who that is? is that Navarre? Uh, it is Navarre. Okay. Maybe, him. maybe just got the the breath knocked out of him there. He's, he's holding, he's holding his, he's holding his stomach. Yeah, I, I wonder if, if he didn't just get the breath knocked out of him. Um, we're gonna we're gonna take just a second and see. Uh, trainer's gonna go out there and check him out. Um, hopefully he just just got the knock, breath knocked out of him on that one. But good play, you know, recovering there to to you know not the best throw, but we were there to at least uh, if he was in bounds, hopefully. Affect the catch. Yep. Well, we see. Uh, what are they? What are they? Uh, let's go over to John Kobe for a little sponsor spotlight. Yeah, good time for a quick shout out to our guys at GT Shelly. GT Shelly has been our longest running sponsor here for Eagle Pink Holiday. Been with me forever. Football. Call our guys over at GT Shelly. They'll get your yard looking fantastic. You got some leaves down. You need that last cut of the season. You need some aeration done. Call them. 865-441-6999. You will not be disappointed. Hey, glad to see Navarre popped up there again. I think he might have just got the breath knocked out of him on that one. Hey, I will give you this about GT Shelly. If he comes to you to mow your grass, you may need a translator. <laughs> it's all right, though, Coach. He good boy. He good boy. 
He's he's got he's got a deep 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 country south accent. Uh, we we got plenty of them around here, like the Hawkins well, County native. We got some Wednesday translators around here. You, you, you're from somewhere in Kentucky, so yeah, that's know. correct. But he makes uh, Nick Winstead seem uh, uh, snooty that, with that's, his. That's Nick Winstead is an articulate, gentleman. an articulate uh, uh, Hawkins County man. Big play for them on fourth down. Indeed. Just. First, first time they've really went to a true just passing concept there. You know, hadn't hadn't done a lot of that. Looked like they ran a little That'll be the quarterback. We gave a little too much a cushion there on yeah. fourth and four. Yeah, end of the third quarter, Coach, we got a good one here. Uh, six to six uh, between the South Green Rebels and the Eagleton Royals. A lot on the line, Coach West. I don't know oh, if yeah. you heard pregame, but, you know, Eagleton's got a chance with a win here to, to be able to go uh, – you know, number three in the region, if they can win out and win against Cumberland Gap. And, you know, that's a big deal. You don't have to travel to uh, Jamestown into a different time zone to play football. So uh, just want to shout out while we can our ECCA broadcasting team. Again, you couldn't be, uh, you know, any any happier to have the, the chance to do this. But Landon McClurg been on the camera for us for almost all the games, with the exception of one where Coach West's wife was gracious to, to bless us with that. And, um, but but Coach West down there doing a great job operating. And some amazing huddle footage right here uh, from, from John Klaus on the field. I think we got a new one today, don't we, Coach? Uh, or Mr. Covey, new one on our camera down here? Adina McMahon. Adina McMahon on our freshman camera down here. She's right here. Doing as uh, we'll talk about her. Fantastic job. And then down on our other camera, Coach West. Yeah. Down on our other camera, we have Peyton Estrada. Okay. Great. Well, we're back here first down uh, on the 40. Uh, time to time to kind of buckle it up here for the Royals. Uh, it's good check time right here. Yep. Need to stop him here. What, what, uh, was he out of the backfield, Coach? Did I miss him? No, he was He was number three in the slot, number three over there in the trips, and just nice little turnaround snap, got snap behind, throw. Yep. He is certainly their best offensive player. Um, you know, they're the kid. He's the kid they're going to continue to go to. Can't lose him. Yeah, that's one of their bigger plays from a line of scrimmage tonight. A little two by two set here. Maybe we can get us another one of those. But Randall, they're players. going to those quick passes and, and oh. screens, and we knew that was coming. And the blitzes don't have time to get there. Although maybe they do on this one. He's wide open. Yeah, that's not good. He's he did not get in. That's a touchdown. Uh, I thought he was short. I don't think it matters. Let's go get. Let's go get the ball back. Well, there's a flag. Now that that was a touchdown. What was the flag on there, Coach? JJ pulled his helmet off and smashed it on the ground. Got to keep our head, man. Got to keep our head. It's okay. That's a touchdown, guys. Um, puts them up. Puts them yeah, up by six. That's right what we got to learn. It's six points, no matter what. Don't make it six points and fifteen yards. And, and now you give them a chance to, to kick off from the the forty five, the the other forty five, or you know. So right there, he come out. Of the, he came out of the backfield, guys, and and he, and he kind of got lost. And you saw it coming. The only thing that could have helped us there was a bad pass, and he put it right on him. Yep. And he did get in. He um. It, he was tackled into the pylon, which is a touchdown. Yep. yep. All we got to do is cross the plane. I guess we don't have a, you know, a play clock on this. They just, I guess they haven't called the penalty yet. So. But uh, you know, that's kind of a backbreaker. They, they made that look easy. That's the first time they've done that all night. Well, I don't think they put anything resembling that together tonight. That, that's the first consistent. Well, that five. was that was my concern coming out of halftime is that they were going to go to the short pass game, to the slants, to screens, and that's pretty much where they've been all second half, and they've had success. I mean, certainly, if I'm game planning against us based on the last few games, I'm, I'm coming in the first half and I'm running the football. So they, they realize that we've done a good job of stopping that. And so we've also got to adjust, and we've got to get to where we can stop some of that. And um, another one there, they got that yeah, one. That's going to put them yeah. up 13 to 6. The South Green Rebels lead the Eagleton Royals. 11 minutes, 39 seconds to go here in the fourth quarter. All right, now, guys. Can this young team answer? They just got punched in the mouth. That was about five plays, and uh, South Green made it look easy. What, what's going to be our response? I didn't like our response when we overreacted to the touchdown and when we get a 15 yards on that. So, uh, And those are things. We, we've been pretty good all night. I, we, I, Randall, I'm, I'm, what, three penalties? Yeah. I mean, 
I think what you've got to do and I think what the coaches have to do down there on the sideline is stay positive. Understand that we have moved the ball. You know, we, we just have to – look, we're a, a player two, a big player two away from having a right touchdown. And, well, and here's what – and I don't want to jinx this because I know I will. Uh, not a single holding penalty tonight. Yeah, the offensive line's played well. I mean, you know, on the on the uh, the GTs, the traps, the the little run plays, Lane's done a good job of sticking it up in there on the yeah, quarterback the, runs. We've the done. sack, the sack on Nate before the field goal. I, I don't really put that on the offensive line. I yep. I, I, I believe he had uh, he had. Why am I forgetting his name? That must be my headache. Number eleven, Colton Relation. Colton Relation. Yep. He had him on the slant. He just. He just didn't trust himself to make the pass. Yep, hesitated and yep. uh, didn't, didn't make the throw. But um, I, I expect 22 here to probably put this one into the end zone. He's, he's got a decent little leg, and especially from here. Close enough. I don't see how he's going to miss it unless he wants to. Always a chance of a miss hit or something like that. But I'm, I'd be ready up front. You never know. Um, but, yeah, just into the end zone there. And that's no hurt there. That's no yeah. Uh, now, it is because we want to grow and get better as a team and not make those kind of mental mistakes. Um, that didn't hurt us. Cost us too much. It didn't hurt us in the long run. That might have been a, a five to seven yard difference. Now, here's what we haven't done all night, Randall. We hadn't taken a shot. And, you know, you got Eric Fox, you got Navarre McDonald, you've got a couple of deep threats. Yeah, I mean, certainly besides keep, the – Keep the, an eye on that safety. The pick, that was the furthest one we pushed down the field. Um, I think you want to try to avoid throwing towards 21. I think he's their best player. A um, little run by Lane Cope here. He, fo he fought through to get some more. Man, I, I just – Got a lot of silly stuff going on that the the officials have allowed to happen. Just I saw number 52 for for South Green smack one of our kids in the helmet right there. You know, it's just little stuff that you've let the game get to where it's at, and, and that kind of stuff starts happening. So um, second and nine, got to got to get a little bit of positive momentum on this play here. I'd, I'd be looking at some of those RPOs. We saw it. We saw it. But yeah, it's yeah, I agree, Randall. There's been. It's not an easy job, but there's easy things to call that are just getting let go. It's Turn the ball loose, side. Mate. You gotta gotta let it go. But he's got some room to run. Really good block right there by Colton Relation. That's a late hit. That's gotta be. He's dude. And they just asked. They, I don't, I no, think I think they just for Colton. No, I think they just. Yeah, they called that on one of either one of our coaches or one they of. They called that. They did not call that on South Green. No, I think the way that I see them pointing down here, Coach West, it looks like they might have might have called that on South well, Green. Well, I'm telling you, that was. I mean, when you let stuff like this go, and then a coach reacts. Now they're marking it off yeah, on they, South Green. They, they uh, Mr. Mathis there came over and he he threw the flag and pointed that uh, that that was a late hit. So made made sure he got that one right. But uh, I'm with Co I'm well, with Coach Childs there. But you can't. I mean, you might get mad, but how can you get mad at a coach? If you just if it's it took you that long, get the flag out of your pocket. Yep. Yep. And it came from the they came Far from the white side. hat. You know, yep. the guy standing right there didn't call it. That's that's where you have the problem with it. So so now now we've got a South Greens coach over there hollering and, and uh, I, I've uh, been told he could be he can be a little difficult on white hats. So. Uh, you know, interested to see how uh, White Hat deals with it here, but we just have to keep going here, get a little momentum. Well, and get another one of these more works first downs, right? Yeah, and, and on a good play by Nate there. You know, he could have probably turned it loose, but he did a good job. Colton did a good job of making a block there. And You can't argue with a guy when he gets into that open space and, and makes a great play. I just don't know how that uh, that head coach is arguing over. Uh, he just got a 15-yarder. We'll and Coach that. West, I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I I heard today from a pretty reliable source that that could be a, a thing that happens. So you don't do that. Yeah. So that, that's uh now. Well, does, the, does I, that I'm, shift? Does that shift the officiating? I'm right here, Randall, and uh, <laughs> the, the white hat came over and explained what he called. And he stood there, and then when he walked off, I think I heard him say, "You're ridiculous." Yep. And uh, and that'll get you every time. Well, you you often wonder in situations like this, Coach, does that shift the way that officiating? He is. Happens? He is. Um, he's now. warning our sideline as well. 
Well, I guess not then. Coach, I, I've, I've been around Coach Childs for a long time. Uh, does a really good job of maintaining composure. You, you know, and I, I've, I know most of these coaches on the sideline. I think they've been told and they're, they're going to they're gonna be solid the rest of the game here. So, but you got to you got to uh, stand up for your players at the same time. So, a little bunch formation over here. Going to the law. Nice. They got just got to got to stick with the block. He yeah. hesitated, Randall. Yeah. Yeah. You got to just stick. Once you make that decision, you got to go. Well, here's what I like about Hampton. Two weeks ago, their kid put their foot in the ground, and he's picking Wins. up seven, eight, nine, ten yards. No doubt. Our guys have a tendency to to see it, hesitate, and try to spin or do something out of it instead of just putting their foot in the ground and getting an extra three or four yards. Yep. Well, and take the three that are there instead of the well instead of a negative instead yeah. of a negative yard play. Yep. Well, the potential for more, right? Light box again. Um, we see what they do here and drop them back We've for been a able pass. To take advantage of it when they drop like that, but able to sneak one over for a few yards. There's a late hit again. We'll take it. Late hit again. I, I, well, I, I maybe now they're watching for it, right? Well, and, and I, I thought it was I thought it was close too. I mean, he he was clearly going out of bounds, and the guy kept but pushing. The, here's where our coaching staff have have to get our guys and say, Come. let these guys do their thing, and let's benefit from it. But don't let's let don't them, be take like themselves that. out of the game. Yep. That's just that's coming in here probably expecting a running clock and not getting it. Yep. And now you're in a battle, and how you handle it? Well, we want to make sure and tell everybody that was another Mower Works first down. Hey, we'll take them however we get them. Well, Flags are running. Those. We'd sure like to be able to. And guys, Broad, Broadway though. We we've watched every game. We we've been here. Coach West has been at every one of them, even on the road. And coach, you know, we that's been a struggle of ours all year is not making the 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 emotional decision. Yeah, making poor plays with your mind, and we've done that often. Little uh, six man box here. Going back to the GT and he quarterback keeps it going goal. and able to yeah. almost get a first down. That's a great run right there. Well, and, and, and look, that's an influence play, well, guys. They're 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 pulling guard and tackle now. Tyson having to get pulled away a little bit there. Keep wow. your head there. And let's see if with this second and two, we're able to get it into the. the end and that's zone. that's what I right there, Nate put his head down and went and picked up three extra instead of trying to spin out yep. and maybe only pick it up three he picks up eight and i, I got to point out something there tyson had a big block finished a block a little little uh, fired up after the play trevor bright doing a great job of saying hey come on man let's get back to the huddle another gt Hey, Tra Coach sticking it up in there. Yep. Hey, I'll, I'll give you this, Randall Davis. Trevor, By Trevor Bright just went out and took a linebacker and put him I back four yards. Say, yep. I, I think that's the best we've seen from him all year. And guys, I'm telling you right now, I've, you know, the, the growth of these two sophomore tackles has been exponential from game one to, to well, now. And again, Tyson, Tyson was getting a mix up. And Trevor went over and grabbed his shoulder pads. Yep. So I mean, it's a you know that's that's what look Tyson is a fiery player, and you love him being on your football team. He's just got to understand the situation here, right? We're we're on the ten yard line, about to score. You know, got to keep that head. Turn, put your foot in the ground and go. Yeah. Coach West, was that first and goal or first and ten? I believe that is first and goal. Okay. To yeah, go. I, see, I see it now. I, um, so. Got to, got to capitalize here. See what Coach Brenton's got cooked up. I, I'd like to see him go back to some kind of misdirection, influence quarterback run here. One thing they haven't, and I just believe he's one of our most consistent receivers as far as the possession right. receivers, Willard King. Yep. Okay, yeah, no, we haven't done that yet, right? Where is he here? He got, the he got the one catch where they uh, targeted him, but um, yeah, I'm a little run called behind. quarterback run yep. to the sweep to that side. Able to push forward to the five or not quite? A couple, you're, couple you're, yards. You're, you're third and goal from just outside the five-yard line. Uh, we know this is two down territory. I don't believe you run this to the short side of the field. I, I think you got to roll out for the football. Right you you got to roll out, and I think you, you, you drag – you drag Willard King and Let's see if you can and get see what you can get. One of those uh, two guys coming across. Yep, Run a little pick play over here with Fox. Running back to this side, I would be expecting a roll out this way. Yeah, no, he's just in for protecting. Contain. And the slant was there. 
not able to come down with just it. Just a high throw. Fox, yeah. Alan Willard was there as well, apparently. Well, he didn't see Willard. He was looking at Eric Fox. Well, and he had uh, Reisner on the slam, so. Well, here you go, guys. I mean, you got to get this thing in here. Um, I think in this situation, Coach West, you got to. It's almost got to be a time and play. It's got to be a slant. It's got to be some kind of something over the middle where you can get to a gap. And you let don't a guy make take a, play. a sack for a negative play. Not on fourth and goal. No, you got a timeout called here by South Gray. So Randall, right here, you look at it. Nate's got to go, and it's got to be a quick hitter. I would put Willard in the slot, one, two, and throw. Yeah, I mean, uh, something that just come to mind for me, and, and I know that somewhere in that playbook it's there, but, you know, with that trips look that it looked like they were in, I would love to see a little snag play where we go uh, slant by, by the furthest guy outside and, and run, a, run a corner route with number two and then sit that number three down kind of inside where that slant's coming, you know, uh, uh, or drag him across one of those two things. It just gives you options. If they leave that corner, he's open. If the that little – sit-down slant comes open, he, he's there, and he, he's catching it in the end zone or on the one and falling in. You're, uh, you're Maryville Rebels in a close one, 27-7 over Cleveland. Yeah, they're absolutely not my Maryville Rebels, but you did say Maryville. Did so. you say my? What? <laughs> so, yeah, you know, I told you earlier in the day, I think Maryville wins that game. They're just a better coach team than Cleveland. Maryville wins out with the exception of Alcoa. Yeah, they're not going to beat Alcoa. Yeah. So uh, again, I change my mind if Gage Ledoux comes back. Nah, I still think Alcoa wins. But. All right, right here. Who cares about Maribel? Right here, we've got – Royals get a chance to. A little two-by-two two look here. I'm going Navarre McDonald on a slant. Right side, yep. Certainly there. Oh, he got inside leverage on He's him. There, out, out, throw it. It's the second move, and it's up. He's got it. No flags. Broadway Barbershop, touchdown. What a play right there. And, 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 guys, I think I called something about a little slant uh, uh, corner. You, you, you're right. Uh, love it. Love that play. Great job there by Coach Branton and the Royals. Now, hey, we have to go execute right here. Um, Gabe's big, been, big extra point. The yeah. snap is crucial. Gabe's been good on PATs this year. Well, and Coach Britton might have a, a torn bicep after I <laughs> squeezed it to death up here. But, hey, excited for, for our guys down there. Oh, and it's good to have Nate in here on the hold. Some sure hands to secure it. and Let's get this through and get this game tied. Good snap. Good hold. Up it's good. good. Yes, sir. And that makes your score with 7.05 left in the fourth quarter. South Green Rebels 13 and your Eagleton Royals 13. Let's go over to John Covey for a sponsor spotlight. What other sponsor can we do right now but Broadway Barbershop, our touchdown sponsor. That is touchdown, Eagleton. 13 to 13, Broadway Barbershop. If you want to look as good as these Eagleton Royals are looking at, get yourself down to Broadway Barbershop. Coach West, you, you said it right before the drive. You know, we're going to see what this young team's made of. And that is, you know, look, South Green made some mistakes of their own there. Yeah, they so did. They, they, the coach put them, put them in a bad spot. Players put them in a bad spot. But uh, we did what we had to do on fourth down nonetheless and get one in the end zone. Yeah, that, so. that, that drive aided by an unsportsmanlike and actually – Two. Uh, a, a late hit out of bounds and two unsportsmanlike conduct penalties. You know, but that's part of the game, and all three of those were legit. Now, great play call there by Coach Branton and Coach Childs. Uh, I think and, I spoke it into existence. Well, I, I look at it, and the ball's in the air, and the whole time it's up there. It seemed like it was in the air for, for an hour long, and a half. Long time, yep. well, I'll be honest with you, Coach West. Uh, I, I'm a little limited on being able to see that corner right now, so well, I was watching the monitor. And it's there a, a lot, but the monitor's a little behind. Really open. <laughs> the, the monitor's a little behind, so I'm just sitting here, and I just uh, was waiting he, for Britain's reaction. Well, he was able to make that double move, and, and uh, we got to get this deep. I, you know what I'd like to see? A little squibber that bounces off of them. Yeah. Nice and high, and they have trouble feeling. I think you keep going with that squib the way it's been going, but he it's a nice kick right well, there. Hey, but it's got the back. Just die. Oh, I just die. Back die. I wish it got a little – Yep. Look, the little only Ian thing, Britton, three iron backspin. The only thing that scares me about those short ones with a kid like 21 on the field, coach, is he goes and picks it up, and, and we're we're not keeping our happens. lanes. Yep. And, but uh, you take a touchback any day of the week. All right, Randall Davis, last drive, screens, 
Uh, quick outs, passing game heavy. Guys, how do you neutralize it? You, you got to go. I think you got to go into a nickel package here. Uh, put extra it, defensive back because I think we've okay. done a good job in the box, you know, and, and it doesn't seem like they're real interested in running. I think you got to – right now they're, they're going four over top of three over there it looks like. So – or three over top of three, a little motion. Navarro's got man-to-man man -man out here. Well, and Nate – get a hand on him, yeah. make a ball in the background. Or, yep. And also, uh, I don't know if you noticed there, Coach West, I think Nate Clemmer's following 21 right now. Is he shading him? Yeah, I, and I'm not going to lie, I like it. I say, uh, you know, that, you're that putting like a pretty your, good strategy. You're putting your best well, defensive player on him. I would look, Randall, for them to sprint out and try to get Navarro McDonald and number two – in single coverage, because they had it. There, with Nate coming in and Shadow and 21, there's no safety over the top. You're right. Yeah. You're, He's out there on an island by it's, himself. It's certainly the chance you take when you do that. Um, but Navarre's a good little corner, the big but he's able tight. to get home before they can get – Now, you got J.J. Out. out here, but I, I don't like where J.J.'s at. And here it is. It's a little pick play. That was Shh. definitely a pick play. I don't – Definitely a pick play, but now, Coach, yeah, when you, you, you do just, that, is there any limitation to how, like, ten yards down the field that they can do that? Is it like a hold? You're not what? supposed to be able to do it at all, okay. but you, as long as you don't touch them, they don't call it very often. So, you know, if it's just running in the way of that guy, you know, get away it's with it a lot. But I'm telling you, if 21's in motion, I'm going. I'm staying with it. Go with him. And and on that first one, Nate stayed with him. I, I, I did he go in motion on that last play? Yes, he did. Yeah. So right now it doesn't look like they've got Nate that they've got Nate playing to the wide side of the field. Yeah, I don't like the coverage here at all. And they're looking at it again. They're going deep, Up, taking a shot. The top. Oh, and great play by the bar. Yeah. Recovery. I mean, coming back from being a step behind, but from, catching up. From what I saw here, um, and, and Scott, you're down there. Is I, I thought there was a little extension from the the offensive player, and yeah. uh, got Navarre off balance a little bit. And he made a he made a great recovery there. Well, Navarre got his head around, maybe a split second too late, uh, but he got both hands on the football. Yep. Um, my first thought was that maybe the, the South Green receiver got his hand in and knocked it out, but uh, he just dropped it. So now they got, they're definitely in some kind of nickel now because they got Colton in, um, Colton in and, and two other corners. So going to, going to some kind of screen some here. Pressure. That is, that is an illegal play. That was it, lineman down the field. That was lineman down the field. Number coach. fifty is all. Number fifty is at the forty-yard line. Yeah, I mean you cannot. It cannot be thrown over the line of scrimmage with with lineman down the field. We got some whistles. Do we have a flag? No. No. JJ's down there. Coach, I, I got a real problem with that. You know, I know they were setting up a screen, but you can't do that if those guys are downfield. And he caught the ball at five yards. That, that wasn't a screen play, Randall. That was a little out. The quarterback got flushed out of the pocket. 21 sprinted across, and it was a little drag. He was seven, nine yards downfield on the catch, and 50 was right beside him. I was going to say, almost right next to him. And you just, I mean, that's what those guys in the middle, that is their job. I, mean, I don't understand how you can do that. You know, I watched the Rebels lose a state championship game on a, on a, uh, a two-point conversion that you saw, but which was not there. Yeah, I thought that was a good call. Yeah, but here, this one was this was pretty obvious. 50, 50 was in the pattern. No, no doubt. I, mean, I thought he was another receiver. So, uh, unless, JJ, unless, come, unless he's reported as eligible, I don't know. I don't see it. JJ coming off there holding this. You, you wonder if, you know, hopefully he'll be back. I don't, gonna, I don't get it. Yeah. You, you got to recover here first That's and an 10. Eligible downfield. Fifteen yards. Hey, let's go and play right here. Let's just go and play. Good play by Tyson. Good play by Tyson right there. Good play by Tyson to, you know, squeeze down the line, continue to pursue, and, and get him down. Just jump on his back, yeah. right? For no gain. Actually, a, a loss of about a half a yard. I was going to say, he went a little bit backwards. Again, at West, I know you've said it over and over, but I think we're looking at, at screens, quick passes here. Well, that or they're looking for another one over close to you, West. 
Yeah, Navarre's tight down there. Looks like he's in press. They're going after him. Yep, right where? Oh. Got he's him down. By an eight. Got him down there. It's going to be third and about five. Sorry, fellas. I was changing batteries. You're, you're all good, coach. We got, we got third and about five there. A little hitch play. Um, you know, can't can't give him too much space here. Got to got to try to get to the quarterback. And, and coach, we just went under yeah, five I, minutes. I don't uh, I don't think the uh, the um, South Green coach heard me with the uh, ineligible downfield, and I was getting the stink eye. But I looked at him and said he was 15 yards downfield. Well, he certainly was. We got the tape. He's gonna say. Does look like JJ might be done for the night, so gotta gotta go with what you got next. Really, come Get on down. There we ah. yes. Oh my goodness! Connor Cox missed the first tackle, went in high, and that's first down. We came in with good penetration, guys, but well, we're hitting him up around high. his shoulder pads. It's hard to bring a guy down from. We got it. We got him for no gain. We, we let him bounce right off, and then he drags two guys for a first down. Back to a little two-by-two two look here. Still got to make them earn it. Got to hope that they do something here to help us out. We sure appreciate it. Draw. Quarterback run. We'll draw That's with trouble. Some space. That's not good. Touchdown. Yep. Hate to see that. Hey, right. three timeouts, plenty of time. We're, yep. we're all right. That'll make your score 19 to 13. Extra point pending. Well, uh, I will say this is probably one of the dirtiest classless teams I've been around. Yeah, I mean, in, in every aspect right now. I mean, I, you know, I, and I said it early that we've got to we've got to watch. I'm proud of our guys for how they've kept their cool most of the night. Big extra point here. As I say, this could be we, We've came close. Able to get through there, but he, he got it up. Looks like he got it. Up yeah. and in. Here we go. Here's hoping we uh, can get down there and get some bonus go football on. tonight. I did see some sportsmanship there. Saw him pick him up. Tyson was on the ground, and they uh, reached down and picked him up. So there's hope. There's hope. It's just I understand it's a, it's a, it's an emotional game, and you don't want people coming out and not playing hard. I get that. Um, yeah, there's a way to play hard and play on the edge without playing. Yeah, and, and I agree. I just, I just thought it was a little over the top. Yeah. And um, but, again, but again, I, I think that you know you 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 set that tone as an officiating crew at times of, hey, well, we we can't we that's can't not, allow that's it. not on the kids at all. No, you you can't allow it to get to that point. Uh, and when you do, and and you get away with it for two and a half, three quarters, then they're they're going to keep doing it. I mean, so right now, guys, you know we've. We, 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 we're not a quick strike team. You know, we got 344, we got three timeouts. Um, a good return here would be nice. As I say, it'd be real nice to have. Uh, yeah, it looks like Colton's backing up a little more. You know, the first two that they kicked, he was he was a little, a little shallow, and, and those are hard when you're running backwards trying to get something. So certainly if he could get a, a catch on one and have a chance at a return, be um, – a, a better chance at setting us up with good field position here. Good kick. Let it go. Yep. Yeah, at that point, let her go. So that'll that'll give the the Royals 80 yards to go. Right now, Randy, we got to get. Uh, we don't need chunk plays, but we. You know, uh, three yards and a cloud of dust won't get it done right now. We got to find something to get the ball downfield a little bit. I still like Willard King. I like Navar. I like Navar on maybe a hitch go. And I mean, and physically, move, he and, was able to. And physically, I, I see a mismatch up top with Fox in that corner. You know, I mean, um, Fox is is a, a good, athletic, strong kid, and um, it just takes one. It takes one to get a kid going. I like uh, the misdirection. But I, I don't like the, the hesitancy. I, I feel like you had three yards to the outside. You got to take them, right? Yeah. You know, that, that's and that's a progression of uh, Lane being a, a first-year running back and learning that sometimes it's better to – I see grass, I'm going to run as fast as I can and try to get as much of it under my feet as I can. 
So I would give second and eight, three, uh, 18 to go. Taking a lot of time here. I say, we need to be a little quicker between plays. Got a lot of, a lot of yards to get. Nate's dropping back. Moving, rolling out. He's got him, but a little over his own. Right there. I, mean, I think he probably should have committed and ran. Yep. But incompletion does stop the clock. But now we got a third and eight. And we're not really good in third and eight. I don't know that anybody think, is really good in third and eight, Coach. Yeah, and I, and I think at a certain point – We've just got to we've got to let one go, you know, and and that that's not me saying it's just your one two three throw the football deep, but but sometimes when you got one on one or let you think up. you you might have a chance, give your receiver a chance to make a play. Nice, enough Ooh. for a first down. Yep. Nice little effort Stop there. The at the end. Good job by Fox. We need to be quick to that line though. So a little more works. First down. Going back to a little two-by-two two set here. Maybe maybe a little more urgency out of the offense right here, I'd like to see, but still got three timeouts, 242. You don't want to you don't want to rush yourself into a bad play call or a, a, a mistake, so a little rollout, I do like that. And I like but, that to the sit barrier. He's got to get it get out. Oh, Fox stand. But again, right there, put your foot in the ground and pick up five. And they gave him the out of bounds, which we'll take. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I mean, I, I think they did they. Yeah, they they stopped it. They, they waved it stop. Okay. And and my thing is there is sometimes it's you know catch that football and just get out of bounds. Know the situation. You know you're at five. Get it out. Um, but again, two twenty three left. Uh, nice little pickup on second down. A hard count there. Handoff with a little space, but not able to get to the first down. Close to a false start there, Coach. Well, I, I didn't know if he almost took his guys off. Because yeah. I have a hard count. Yep. Okay. A little injury. Yeah, on get, the off, get off the injured guy. Get on a coach's huddle or something. Here, the problem is here, you got to have a play called and you got to be back out on the ball. Sorry, guys. I was, uh, I was directing while I was commentating. Right here, you, you got to have a play call. You got to get back out there on the ball when he readies the play, uh, readies the the because it's gonna the whistle's gonna blow. So I was say I don't get the personnel in. Play clock is running. Get out there quick, boys. Now they reset it. I don't know if they were supposed to do that. All right, third and three. We cannot have negative yards here. Well, we got to – about to go under two minutes. Hayden Richardson out there in the H-back, a little uh, extra protection, I think, a little uh, extra blocking. Say extra blocking. Now get out of bounds, Nate. And first first down. down and out of bounds. So another mower works. First down. First down. And now, guys, you got a minute and 52. You got about, I don't know, 40 – yeah, right at 45 yards or 55 yards to go. Um – you know, you're just you're trying to, to make plays, get out of bounds if you can, use those timeouts when you need them. You wanted that shot, Coach? Missed him. Oh, just and Manny him. had him. Yeah, he he had him. Wrong shoulder. But you don't. The clock's not running. Now you got time to call play in. I like the shot. I do. I mean, I, Man. I think he's a mismatch down there. Camera down to me. We can go ahead and shut you down. Looking for this little stack formation again. Royals are ready to go as soon as uh, the ball is spotted. I'm not set. Clock won't be running on the incompletion, so um, I, I do like the stack. I think it creates a little bit of issues for your DBs. Ooh, yeah, got some space. Get out of bounds. Nice little move. Get out of bounds. Oh, you like that? I like it. It's okay. We got timeouts. Big play by Eric Fox right there. 
I mean, nice little Coming stutter, right nice little that. stutter step, yeah. and and then he goes and uses that speed that he's got. Calls getting put in. While they're moving the chain. Man, they, they're starting the clock awful quick. I mean, Does the it go chains. With the ball set? Well, I guess chains weren't set. So, anyways, got to be looking at maybe using a timeout here. Pill back right there, Coach. Got somebody. Yes, sir. Get out of bounds. Get out of bounds. Get out. Of bounds. He got yes, out. Sir. He got out. Good. Coach, you got to like the movement so far, right? Yeah, and you got to like that you, you're you getting down into the red zone. And you All right, here we go, guys. Uh, I like what I'm seeing. Where's the ball at? We're on about the 21. 22, 23, sorry. Huh? Now we have to, now we can't get up there and just be nonchalant. We got a minute and nine. And we got three timeouts. We got three timeouts. <laughs> nice, he's got some room to go. Go, go, follow your boy. Push, push, push. All yeah, the way down big to the ten. Big play, first stop. Another Should first stop down. Down. I'd burn a timeout here. Mower works. Mower first. works first down. I, I think I'd call a timeout here, Randall. Yeah, and they did. Yeah, I think Rand's on it right there. Look at this amazing replay right here, Coach. Yeah, I mean, that's a – look, it's a, it's a gutsy call. You know, minute left, 23-yard line. But but Cope did a great job of being patient, getting behind his blockers and, and, and just catching them off guard, right? And, yeah, and, and so now well, you're uh, we could get a first down. It's at the eleven, correct? Yes, sir. Because so. I'm a, I'm all the way down here on the far side of the field. It yep. almost looks like it's at the one and a half yard ball, line. Right? Ball on the eleven, according to the scoreboard. Yeah. So uh, we could get to the one and get a first down, but uh, you know, right now it's just it's about executing. I still like Willard King on a on a on a three step turn. We keep saying it; it's going to come true. We're going to speak it into existence. Yeah, right, I coach? think there's a lot you can do with those inside guys. And, and, look, I'm not sure you don't maybe look at coming back to what you scored on. He was wide open. You know, sure, they could have adjusted to it, but but we they have the same problem we have, right? Yep. These guys are playing on both sides of the ball. So, adjusting is, is in game and at this level of football can be difficult at times. So, Well, and thankfully we got four downs to punch it in. Hopefully 57 seconds left here. We'll be able to. Oh, comes unguarded. It's up. Oh, I don't like that at all. Way. Yep. I think he was just trying to get rid of it. But let's let's try to make a play. We could have we could have strung that out. Maybe Navarre could have just Brett Favre that came back to his quarterback. It's second down. I will say, you know, that's a in that situation, the last thing you can do is try to no string, try to yeah, try to string it out. Maybe a shoestring tackle happens, and you know, you end up end up with a with an issue there. So you live to live to play another day. Got some kind of stoppage here. Okay. I don't think the play clock was reset. I don't know. He's coming and talking to Coach Childs. I think maybe the ball boy did Was something. Past the, uh, or maybe they got the wrong ball in there. Yeah, we must have had the magic ball in there. <laughs> Inflated right. to the correct. Uh, yeah, that might have been that. That might have been that, action. that Tom Brady football right yeah. there. All right, so back in this two by two look. No, no real safety help over the middle. Mm. You cannot do that. Sack. You just can't do that. And Willard was there. Yeah, I think in that situation, you, you sometimes can overthink yourself and, and go with the motion, and it can cause a lot of a lot of uh, issues with. Uh, you know, protection and things like that, you know, so look, third down. Now you're third down and 20. Third down 20. Um, you got two plays, you got to go score. Right, 
there. We just hang on to the ball too long, and then you got to know that backside pressure's coming, and we're staying in the pocket rather than rolling out. Maybe you, you, you throw something toward the end zone. Maybe hope to get a penalty. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm throwing it. I'm throwing it 10 to 12 yards down the field right here. Um, I think that, you know, you could see some kind of slant or something because they're playing off. Quick like that. And, and then two you, steps and put some air under it, right? You hope that your, your guy can make a play and get you enough that you can call a timeout and go for the end zone on the last play. He's there up top. Up. Great find. Down inside the five. Out of bounds. And out of so bounds. It's gonna be gonna be fourth and but remember we can fourth get and a about first two. Down. Yeah. It's fourth down. I know you can't quite see it, coach, from where you're at, but but Yeah, I couldn't see that one at all. I think they're spotting it right on the five. So almost uh looks like we need to get to the four. one. Yep. Yeah. So and again. I think you've got to roll out here. Yep. Give give uh, string him along. Give Nate a chance if he can use his feet to, to get it and if he can't something like that where he almost pumps him and then throws it over him. South Green timeout. Yeah, it looks like South Green timeout, fellas. And then probably a smart one. Is that their last one or they got one more? I mean, I, I think there's I think there's a lot of things you can do here, guys. Is you know. I, right there, we were in a, in trips to the boundary, but we could have been looking at rolling out and bringing some kind of drags back across. Gives you a two-way go, right? It gives your quarterback a chance if he if he sees it. And look, we, you you got to trust Nate in this situation. Of uh, can I go get four or five yards, get the first down? If if I can't get the touchdown, if not, put it in the end zone, you know. And um, but if then you got those guys dragging from the backside, maybe maybe you make that throw and. But uh, this is this is uh, for all the marbles. Well, and, and coach, again, if we'd have told ourselves at the beginning of the, the the evening we'd had a chance on the the five yard line to make play to to tie this game, we've got to like our chances. Got to like where we're at. Yeah, I'm just going to be interested to see what what South Green does here. Do they they bring a lot of pressure and, and hope that they can get a sack like they did earlier? Yeah, we just they're, they're just, double covered, yeah. covering the single receiver up there. You got two on Fox. Although you got to give yourself a chance here. You cannot take a sack. Oh, he's got him there. Touchdown! Man, Aaron what a Fox! What a play, guys! What a what a what a drive by a young football team. And a great play calls by great Coach call. Brandon. Fox coming back to the middle of the you field. You kicking this? I'm kicking it. You got to. We're we've, been, we've been on the other side of a team thinking that they had to go for two, and there's just too much to too much to ask for. Got to make sure we mention that's another Broadway barber shop. Touchdown! All right, we got the the weird setup. They are going for two. Sideways snap. Nate's moving. Nate's moving. He reaches forward. He's in. No signal. No signal. They're marking him short. Uh, uh. Uh. We've got a replay of this one. Yeah, he was short. He was just short. That's some Titans Super Bowl level. Uh... Yeah, that's tough. Hey, guys, we're two and five. We we comp we've competed in a game that you know no one thought we were going to compete in. I'm never going to go against a coach that's aggressive, but no doubt. And you know, right there. there. Yep. Well, I th and. Remember, we got the best onside kicker in the business. There ain't no doubt about that. You know, they're going to be an hands team here. It's just, do you go? <laughs> Last week, he, he had a really nice one to the sideline that bounced, and we ran under it. And, you know, and then at that point, you got a timeout, and you got to get to probably the 20 to give yourself a chance. So, 
Yeah, and you still got two timeouts left, though, so. A lot can happen. Looks like he will be coming this way. Got to well, stay on sides here. Been one one little his, issue we we had against Hampton with getting ahead of us. Staying staying yeah, on sides. I, you know, I agree going for two, and um, the play call is kind of tough. Geo kind of got a little little elevation on that pitch back yep. when he snapped it, and that kind of hurt him. Up, up, up! Uh, they got it. All right, but great job by our Royals, guys. Great job. There's, there's going to be no solace for these coaches, guys. This, the, you know, that no coach wants to hear. Well, you, you played them good. You, you were close, but the, the, the way that our defense played for the majority of this game, and it's, it's the best I've seen us play offensively as a whole for, you know, for, for in a long time. I mean, you got to, you got to take a little bit and know those type of things, and you know, know that going into the next two weeks, you win, you're in the playoffs, barring some. Yeah, some hey, there's no moral victory, but guys, I tell you what, I'm proud of this group. Indeed. Proud of this coaching staff and how they handled themselves. Heck, I'm proud of our band. They, they, they improved so much. Look great in our uniform. It was a great night. Wins are great, but the scoreboard doesn't always dictate what happened out here. Our guys left it all on the field, and all I got to say, go Royals. Go Royals. We believe in growth, and we see it, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, without question. So we're going to make them earn it. That's a heck of a call. I would have done the same thing. <laughs> yeah, done the same thing. They played their tails off now. You tell me it's hot. We got a moment here in the timeout. We want to go over to John Kobe with another uh, sponsor spotlight. Yeah, just a good run through of our sponsors, Moleworks. If you need your mower repaired, call our guys over at Moleworks. Broadway Barbershop. Thank you, Broadway Barbershop. It's good to get that touchdown out. If you need your haircut, go to Broadway Barbershop. Coons Fan Force. ACT Prep. Call guys at Coons Fan Force. And finally, GT Shell. The Enterprise is unique. Oh, gee. GT Shell. All right. South Green can come out here. Hopefully not pull, uh, or ho we wish they would pull. Uh, yeah, pull a Miami, Miami for sure. I don't think that's in a card, so make them earn it with another timeout. Hope for an exchange. Don't get cute, guys. Trying to take their knees out and get the ball back, but yeah, I mean, that's going to... All right. <clears throat> well, I, I, I like the message it sends to your boys. We're going to make them earn every step. They fought too hard not to. And the rain has begun to fall here. Yeah, you can see it without looking in the lights this time. But, hey, maybe they'll fumble the football. Let's see. Wet that ball, fumble and exchange. Stranger things. I think that's all she wrote. That'll be it from here at Robert M. Maxey Field at the Crown. Your final score, South Green 20. Eagleton 19. Great job by the production crew. And uh, as we like to say here at Eagleton, we'll see you on the other side.